What's up, everybody? Back in with another episode of Supermarket Simulator, man. Did y'all see my storage? Y'all see it? Y'all see it, man? Y'all see it? I've been grinding, bruh. Let me tell you how long this shit took. This shit took me like 50 in-game days. Because what happened is after the last episode, I put the storage in here all willy-nilly, <laughs> and then I ran the game a few days. I realized that I didn't want to stack my storage up like that. I wanted to stack it up by the box sizes. So I had stacked up so much storage, I had to let the game run like 15, 20 days to get rid of all my storage. Still didn't get rid of all my salt and pepper, but I had been stocking up so much stuff. So what I did, what helped me a lot was this one mod called Refill Storage. That's man that mod really came in handy because basically what that mod does is as long as you have a label in the storage room you can refill the label storage so it'll give you like say if i sell out of this and then i go ahead and i just hit that again it'll give me everything that'll fill up this block for the cake batter so it really came in handy but i had to manually put these boxes where i wanted them to go because when i put the mod in i didn't do it properly and it was boxes everywhere and it was a mess but we all finished you see we have 63 thousand dollars right now we are on day 202 i think when we left off i was on day 150 so nothing's changed in the store though like literally the only thing i've done off camera was just run days and like try to get that storage together so everything is exactly the same but what's so cool about doing that is because i was like yo when we come back on the episode i'm gonna have the perfect opportunity to go ahead and redo some stuff in the store because i like doing things in the episodes like running the days is cool but like at the same time another thing i got is the is the fast forward i'm gonna show you all that in a minute but uh matter of fact let me just show you two mods before we get into the game so let's go ahead and start it up we're gonna start today this fast forward mod because what i realized with this game is like once you get to like level 50 I say like 50 ish what ends up happening is you end up taking so much time to make money and also buy everything in the store so it becomes more like a grind which hopefully the developer is working on a way to make the game kind of feel more like it's automated once you get to a certain point because a lot of it the manual stuff you can't really do when you got like hundreds of items but check this mod out so we can speed up time now it only works up to level three because past that everything gets all messed up so you see that thing that's right above my face cam it say times one look that's one and a half that's two that's three this is as fast as you really should go you can take it up to 10 but like it don't really run good at 10 but what makes this cool is that we can get the day going without having to like sit around and wait because a lot of time i just be chatting and shit because the store pretty much is running itself and then if we want we could go right back to normal or even slow it down by half so like you know if cassandra walking by something like that you know what i mean we could be like damn what's up cassandra you looking good walking by with your teddies out you know it's time we could just slow it down a little bit watch her get her tea and walk away you know what i mean or we could run it at normal but like i said i like to run it at times three it makes everything times three so we even we move at times three speed so i just like to sit it still check it out let everybody do their thing they do get a little stuck right there you see how sometimes they go back and forth we'll see on 10 and the higher speeds they never get unstuck so that's why i only leave it at three three is the sweet spot plus it makes the checking out so much faster but then like when you look at it like see look at this let's go times three that's how fast you should be stocking dank i mean not stocking but checking out you know what i'm saying it should never take you this long to check out look at my boy look at my boy shank shank going mad slow hit that times three yeah the game does run slow though so i like to keep it just sitting in one spot but this saves me a lot of time man it saves us a lot of time and we able to grind out days a lot faster because like the one thing i don't want it to do is get stale because what's what I, what's gonna happen is once i update the store we gonna jump into that gas station simulator next i might play something in between like maybe some sims maybe uh maybe a different game you know like just something change it up a little bit but then we gonna jump in the gas station simulator because i heard that that game is even better than this game because you can um clean you could do all of that Plus, I want to jump in the house flipper here and there in between because y'all like this a lot, man. So I want to keep that simulator stuff going. 
I want to keep the, the flow moving with that those kind of games because they just seem to be I don't know, they just they just fun, man. They just fun. Oh, it's a couple matter of fact, we will be playing hella games because I want to play that sunny day. That's like a simulation game. I want to play um this other game that's like a simulation game, Dyson, Dazen or something. And it's basically like it's basically like a first person Sims and you go to work and everything. Like I really want to play that. I think that game is gonna be crazy good but um so it's gonna be a lot of different games on the channel man even when this is we get to the level where we you know pretty much maxed out and we waiting on the update we still got plenty of other games that we gonna rock with but these mods just make this even better because you see this we would be sitting here going painfully slow if we was playing at normal speed we could hit that times three boom and then once everybody get their items Let's see if I could take it up even faster. See five, we go up to five and we can go up to 10. But I feel like when you go up to five and 10, I, I don't know, you lose track of what's going on. I don't like that. Cause it's like, am I losing money? And then I got my new cashier, man. Hank got a lot of votes. A lot of people like the name Hank. So we got Frank, Dank, Shank, and Hank. That kind of goes, man, kind of goes. So we got him over there in the corner. That's my latest employee. And I had to get him because the customers kept saying that the checkouts was full and I just had to get another another person. He's really not in any kind of way where I want him to be at because you see he's like in the middle of the of the aisle. But somehow they able to squeeze and still get through here. But yeah, he needs to be somewhere else for sure. But um, in the meantime, so I, I showed y'all that mod and let me show y'all the other mod. Now I'm not going to use these all the time, but I do want to show y'all how they work just in case y'all see me doing and be like yo what is that you doing so you see right now everything is going fast but we could just make that normal big shout out to y'all because y'all been telling me this for a minute the key is to keep your storage stocked up that's the key the key is to never let your storage fall behind a certain so like right now you see that we only got one cleaner so we would go ahead and order another one now i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do use the mod real quick i'm gonna show y'all the easy way and then we could just do it manually too so of course the manual way would just be using the scanner scanning for the toilet paper which is easy enough which is what i'm gonna do most of the time but just so i can show y'all what it do we're gonna go over here to the computer and you see we got this button right here so let's just take that toilet paper off we got this button right here refill all so now what refill all does is that'll take every slot that's in the storage and fill it up so now the ones that don't have two like cleaner we go ahead and go to the computer it'll give us what we need to fill that little storage block up so then the storage stays full super helpful mod man super helpful i'm not gonna use it right now though because they're in the middle of stocking and we don't want them to be like not getting fully stocked so i'm gonna let them stock let's stop today start today yeah look at this we had 237 we almost had a year man 93 good customers 6300 good times i'm gonna go ahead and put this in three and let them stock but then i'm gonna look at my finances so we had 6900 no sixty nine thousand dollars so sixty nine thousand dollars means that huh, i need to i need to expand the store I need to expand the store to one that would be a $16,000 so we got to get an expansion on the store and then we need to get a license now these licenses are going to be interesting because we got cat food cleaner we got books and then we got more chemical stuff like dishwashing tablets cleaner and the only issue with that is like this aisle is as long as this gonna go so what i would have to do if i got the cleaner is i would have to i would have to end up moving everything over one i would have to move everything over and then i would need to make an aisle which is two like how you see that right there i need to make a two aisle with cleaner and stuff on one side cleaner and stuff on the other side and i don't know that's gonna be a major renovation if i do that and then same with books like where would i put books you know what I just got an idea so what if i put books by the window move the chemicals in flank them on both sides over put the coffee aisle with the cereal once we extend that piece but then where's dinner aisle gonna go we still gotta have dinner aisle some kind of way i don't know where in the hell dinner aisle would go though y'all because see if i move this over like say we put books down that aisle then we move cleaners and chemicals to this aisle and then this will be the coffee cereal sugar aisle once it's extended back right so that'll be cool 
and then over here would have to be dinner aisle but right now we got that so we if we extended that maybe we could fit enough freezers on one side do shelves on one side freezers then refrigerators but i mean that's that's asking for a lot because that's already six shelves damn i don't know how we gonna do that now i'm thinking about it y'all done stocking up all right cool so they not that they done stocking the easy way to do this it's just come in here and see what we need so like right now you know we need milk we need elbows we need cleaner and you just want to keep this stuff stocked up now we could use the little refill all but like this is the manual way which i think i'm gonna do a nice merge of both you know sometimes you use the refill all when we trying to get stuff done sometimes we come in here and do it manually either way it's still gonna be fun and it's going to still give us the same amount of stuff anyway. Our main focus right now is going to be the extension. So let's get this extension. This is what's so cool about me building up days. Let's get that extension real quick. They need to also add more loan money. Once you get to a certain level, you need to be able to take out a $10,000, $20,000 loan. They got to keep adding to that. Let's get the growth first. Let's get the section nine, section nine right here. Extended that back, which is cool. Now we still need one, two, three, four. So we need four shelves. We need to get four shelves. I could go ahead and do another extension, couldn't I? Y'all want to make this an ultimate upgrade? Ultimate upgrade? I don't know though. I don't know. Let's not do that yet. Let's get the four shelves. Let's get the four shelves because not only, let's get four of them. Not only are we going to get new products, but we also going to have to move around some of these old products. And I don't exactly know where I'm putting them and how I'm putting them. I just know the fact that everything is pretty much lined up is kind of beautiful. And that's because we was prepared. You know what I'm saying? We prepared a little bit for this. This was not a fly by night idea right here. We was already ready for the new layout when we did the last one. All right. So like that. See what I'm saying? So now if I do this, I think my, my end goal for this store layout is going to be move this back some so you're not running directly in the shelves. But then eventually when we get another one, I'll put a, a shelf on the back wall so you can like walk down this hall and also go up the aisles and go from the top and the bottom. I don't think I'm going to extend them any farther like in length wise. I think we're going to go from here to a secondary walkway in the back just to increase flow and also increase the grocery store feel. And I might end up moving this whole thing around differently. I mean, you never really know. So that's our secondary. Now this is an interesting part right here because this isn't the same as this was, is it? How come this is different? Is it different because I put, damn, did I, how did I do this? In one section, I'm just trying to look. In one section, I did one and a half. So you got this half here. I did two and then I did this half. So technically, I should be able to do this, a whole nother one, and then a half? There's no way. There's no way. That would be saying I could fit two shelves in. Matter of fact, let me see something. The size of these aisles. Okay, the size of those aisles are pretty, okay, they're a lot different. They're a lot different. They're more like this. I'm thinking that, that aisle size is like that, a little sliver. But if I did that, if I did that and I flipped this, what benefit would that give me? I still wouldn't be able to put another one right there. I mean, I could make another aisle, but like I could easily make another aisle. And then we got our refrigerators. But like, what benefit is that though? What benefit is that making that a tighter aisle? Well, I don't know if there is a big benefit unless the way I did this Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I think the way, I know I ain't saying nothing, y'all. I'm just trying to figure out how I thought this was a better idea than the other way I had it. And there's got to be some kind of reasoning for it or I wouldn't have done it. So what I'm thinking is the way I did this, once this wall is gone, so if I even this out to where that would be, which is like, so then maybe I thought, I mean, technically I could put the shelf there. Let me just see something real quick because we about to tear this whole ass grocery store up in a minute. So if I did that and then I had another one here. Okay, yeah, that's how that works. So I could actually make another line of shelves right here that would end up 
not being a good thing right now because I got these freezers right here, but that would give me a lane. Now on the back side of that lane, could I put refrigerators? Of course I could because then in a minute, everything is going to get pushed over. I see. I see. Okay. 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 We got, we got some plans going y'all. We got some plans. I don't know how in the hell we going to do them, but we got some plans. I would need two. Damn, we have $50,000 right now. 50k 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 what about the growth that's 20 and 24 i could actually do two extensions but i won't be able to get no product license yet we could run a few days though because it don't take long when we got that mod let's get another section let's just do it okay new section unlock cool 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 so now what this does this is giving us even more options to make another line if we needed to which would be something like that so that would be so it well yeah okay so you got a out there and an aisle here which this is in my way but we'll just move this out the way for a second move this out the way we'll put this back where it was because right now it don't matter because everything about to get tow up tow up from the flow up real quick so now looking at this would we have enough room we will eventually we will eventually have enough room to take the refrigerators and put them behind and then do the freezers just like how we did them here. It's weird how when you extend the store, it takes a big toll on like how you set stuff up. So if I was to do this, this is a tight squeeze. But you see, next width upgrade will be here, but the next two width upgrades, that'll be a huge layout. And see what's cool about that is that'll be our permanent layout. And then when I get another, man, my nose is so stopped up. When I get another one, the spacing that it'll give me when it opens it up is gonna be a walkway around the aisles. So no longer will we have to really move the shelves. It'll just be more walkway back here. So you'll be able to walk in the behind and in the front, <laughs> the behind. And then I'll probably take these caps off just because they're in the way and we'll have a full open doorway we won't have to worry about these caps at all and then you can walk into the store yeah this is gonna be nice but i'm gonna need three more upgrades to make it look perfect which is 24,000, 31,000, and 40,000, which is insane. I could do the 24,000, but then this 30 and 40 that's about to be like 50 60 days at the store that really wasn't what I was trying to do right now because I was trying to I was trying to actually get some products but now I'm thinking about it let's see so if I did what I said if I put the books right here I move the chemicals in so chemicals chemicals coffee sugar cereal cakes dinner aisle dinner aisle behind that refrigerators behind that freezers behind that more refrigerators that's a flawless situation the only downside is that i don't have no room for that right now but that's okay because everything ain't got to be set up right now this is more of a future design than a current design because see right now we still need to make money we still need to be able to get around and in doing that we're gonna have to make some some slight adjustments where things don't get in the way so we can just set that right there and then you'll see the layout you see the layout right here but that don't mean we got to do it at this particular moment all right now what about products let's see about these products product license we got 22,000 22,000 I probably could get two of these and you see here we got another cleaner plus cat food and dog food I don't know where in the hell what aisle is cat food and dog food going in I have no clue then we got book aisle book aisle is interesting because I don't even know what the books look like I don't know how big they are I don't know how much space they take up but we got two licenses full of books book here book here then we got chemicals chemicals and cat food dog food so chemicals a pet aisle cakes sodas beers more cakes it's gonna come to a certain point where it's like where am i even putting all this stuff we're gonna need a pet aisle though maybe not maybe not pet food where is pet food in the store i'm only thinking of target right now and i know pet food is behind the nerf guns pet food is not around our food usually but it's not by chemicals either i don't know i don't know where in the hell we gonna put pet food to be completely honest i'm just trying to get an idea of what we doing y'all that's all getting an idea of what we doing 
I'm just thinking, should I just stack up money and get, let's start the day. I'm not going to sit around and make no money doing nothing. Let's just start the day. It ain't nothing wrong with starting the day while we still thinking. I'm just trying to think like if we focus on making 50000 or $60,000, we can extend this over, which would give us the perfect layout for they ass. I'm extending one. I'm extending one more, y'all. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Think about it later. All right, we just extended one more. Now, why did I do that? Because now we can stick these down here. They're not going to look the best, but that's okay. And then we can stick. Actually, I can't stick Hank there. Damn, I was hoping I could stick him there, but we really can't. <laughs> you can put his ass in the corner and make him feel like he's special. Yo, you special, bro? This is, this is actually Frank now. Frank is the VIP cashier, yo. Frank is VIP. He just watch all the other three. I mean, that's cool and everything, but like that is not what I wanted to do. Damn, I didn't mess this store up, y'all. Not really, but kind of. How did you mess it up? Because I'm trying to get this extension and I probably overextended myself. Mostly looking at how everything is flowing. It's like, damn, yo, should I have done this differently? I don't know. I love the way it was set up and it's going to stay that way. It's just going to be, it's going to take a little time. I got to get both of these unlocked. Once I get both of them unlocked, we are like smooth sailing products, everything. What's crazy though, is, is this growth? Yeah, that is growth. So we'll extend this, this and that would make us another, that'll make us another wall. And then this is another piece going to the left, 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 back, back, back left 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 ain't no way you get two more extensions to the left right nah that can't be i mean i could see where you could get one more extension going here i don't know how we got maybe they'll give us more extensions going deep into the store that would really mess me up if the next extension after we do them two in the back is a back extension instead of a left extension because i really want to extend that joint over one we got to get some more lights in here too how many lights we need we need at least one two I could actually get four. Let's just get four lights because I hate seeing that stuff look dim over there in the corner. Lights is mad cheap anyway. Let's just get some lights. Put this up in the corner. Try to make it look somewhat even. It's not going to be perfect, but this is terrible light placement. <laughs> this is terrible light placement, but I mean, it works. Look how slow this joint is running. I'm maxing out. I think they need to um, make the game a little bit more optimized because... I did see y'all told me, somebody in the comments told me to turn this to low. But if I turn this to low, the game is going to look like shit. Like, look how bad the game looks all of a sudden. Don't nobody want to, it's like it washed out all the colors and everything. I still see his hair follicles. But like, I don't know, this don't look good though. I wonder what it run like on three. I mean, it is more satisfying that it's smooth, but like, it looks like shit. We don't want that. We want them We want them titties to be in 4K, man. We can't have that little low quality. This looks so much better. It also runs a whole lot worse, but hey, that's all right though. That's all right. We about to get, what are we going to get at 10,000 today? I think we could make 10,000 for sure. Yeah, we hit 10K. We definitely hit 10K. It's crazy. This is a way better way to, to utilize the time in the store, mostly the later parts of the game, because we've come a long way, man, a long way. What I want to see, I want to see about this growth. So we need 30,000. Damn, y'all, 30,000? The license is 22. I'm not really tripping on the license right now. I need to get this extension because if we could keep expanding, we can get all the shelves lined up. Then we could worry about the license because if I start buying them licenses and don't have uh, shelves to put them products on, they're going to start complaining about we ain't got something. And I don't want to hear them crying and talking about we ain't got none. We ain't got none. We ain't got no books. Boxes. We ain't got no boxes. One more customer. All right, she good? Everything good? Day looking good? Cool. So we got 13,000. We got to just start it. We're going to start a new day, man. We got to run a couple days. That's all. Run a couple days. Let's open up shop instantly. Let's go ahead and go over here. This is where making refill is a lot smoother. You could just refill that storage, keep stuff flowing, keep everything moving. You ain't got to be spending too much time on things that don't matter. Um, we do need to get a few shelves. Should I wait though or should I? 
since we at ten thousand dollars right now we need 30 to extend that over to thirty thousand i could take a loan out for 10 if i need to i don't really have to but i could if i need to i just know for sure i'm gonna need to get at least how many how many shelves am i gonna need i'm gonna need one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i'm gonna need at least ten shelves 10 shelves and i don't think i need no more refrigerators or freezers right now but i am gonna need 10 shelves because everything is gonna be moved over one which i think is gonna flow nicely i think that's gonna flow real nicely i gotta remember though 10 shelves that's pretty easy to remember but 10 shelves how much even is 10 shelves let's see 10 shelves would cost me a total of two thousand dollars that ain't even that much money two thousand dollars ain't bad i could get some five tier shelves too they 250 that might be more helpful too i don't know because i if i'm gonna get a five tier shelf it needs to be a whole aisle full of five tier because it ain't gonna match up right if it's not and then certain products ain't gonna match up either it's nice to be running the game in three times speed while we in the computer because it's like you ain't gotta worry about what's going on behind you I don't think we need no more freezers. I don't think we need no more refrigerators, but we are going to need $2,000 worth of shelves. Or if we get the five tier ones, you talking about $2,500. So still not that much. We don't need no more checkouts. I think that'll be cool. But I think my goal is still to go ahead and get that, that extension, $31,000. Damn, $31,000 though. That shit hurt my feelings to even think about it. 31000 We could probably make, because we just made, what, 5000 a day? What be hurting you is that restock, though. It's like you can make $6,000, but then you put 3000 or 2000 in restock, and it takes forever to make, like, 10000 15000 But I think we could do it. I almost want to go ahead and get them shelves, though. But see, I can't, I can't finish it off because if I finish it off, I'm going to have to move the refrigerator. And I can't move the refrigerator right now anyway, so I can buy a few though. Let's see. Let's keep it on normal time so we can move around properly. If I just get what we need without having to move anything, I'm going to still need one, two. So basically just two shelves. One, two. Well, you could do three. You could do three shelves just so i can like get some of the stuff going maybe get a little bit of an idea what i'm doing should we get five though that's the question let's look at the shelves so out of all these shelves you see right here this is a five shelf so anything bigger than a shampoo bottle is gonna be somewhat of a problem so like that bread probably couldn't go on a five tier shelf these are definitely not gonna probably fit on a five tier none of that big stuff is gonna fit on a five tier but a five tier is really really good for stuff like this like your mayonnaises your hot sauces but at the same time they could also mess you up because if you got a five tier shelf like if this is a five tier shelf now all of a sudden i gotta figure out how to split two and threes up differently unless i do less and do double on the bottom which i could always do something like that for milk so like do cereal 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 then milk but I don't know. I really like the way I got these shelves stocked up right now. So I don't know if I'd want to get a five tier shelf. Five tier would probably help. I don't know. Because I like doing a line of four. It's just do four, 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 four. You know what I'm saying? That just hit a little bit better than the fives. And the fives end up like this. So I got two salt, two pepper, and then you got a blank spot on the bottom, which kind of just cancels itself out in a sense 92 customers 6300 end up making 47 now we got to make sure we get our stuff going see how much more faster the gameplay is with the mods though like you do take out some of the stuff we had because that would have took us a whole lot of time to spend that four thousand dollars in products sometimes like the later in the game i feel like this is keeping the game fresh it's keeping us moving it's not we're not stagnant waiting on like you know we got to check a million different labels we just trying to we trying to get the day going. It's like playing The Sims, you know what I'm saying? You just on the flow. And right now, we trying to make a lot of money. We do not have time to be running around stocking because I'm trying to get this store together. I am going to get those three shelves, I think, though. I think I'm going to just get the, the fours, the, the basic ones. I don't think getting... I said three, right? I don't think getting the fives is necessary. Mostly not well it depends because what are, what are we getting again i know i keep going back checking 
See, this dishwasher stuff is probably gonna be big. Books, I'm, I don't know how big books are gonna be. Cause if books are like laying flat and they're really thin, a five shelf might be really good for books. Like really good. But if they're standing up, like if they on display, like how they do at Target, they standing up, then they might end up taking up bigger spaces like the toilet paper. <sighs> I don't know. But how would you stack books up like that? Unless they stack them like in the library. Then we got cleaner, cat food, dog food, yeah. All of that's, all of that's really big items. And I don't have no idea to, to do anything no different. So yeah, let's just get the four, the three, I mean. We'll get the three like that and we'll get, uh, we'll leave the lights alone for right now. Yeah, let's do that. Three shelves, not too bad. Sounds like damn Indy 500 outside. All right, now we can at least finish these up, but I'm gonna end up moving this stuff around. So, cause aren't I, yeah, ain't you gonna move? I'm basically gonna move everything over. So dinner aisle will now become this aisle, which you can't really see, but that aisle. That'll be the new dinner aisle. This'll be the coffee and cereal. This'll be the cleaner. This'll be books. So it'll look like a bookstore from the street. Uh, I don't, I like the chemicals being on, on display first. It made it feel like a, a store, but I'm gonna need way more space for chemicals. So I'm gonna have to do it. So regardless what I want, it's gonna have to be done. And that's just, that's just the way it is, man. You know what I'm saying? That's just how that cookie crumbles. And I don't even like crumble cookie y'all like that. Y'all like crumble cookie? I think crumble cookie is one of the most overrated cookie places to ever exist in this time period. I'm not going to lie to you. They, they cookies is cool. Like, I ain't going to be mad at you if you give me a chocolate chip cookie from crumble. I tell you one thing crumble did good was them damn cinnamon cookies. It was like a cinnamon bun cookie. That was good. But they chocolate chip, I'd rather just make my own. I'm not going to lie. I'd rather just make my own, man. Let's see, do we want to change? Yeah, let's start making a couple adjustments. These are going to be weird adjustments, but we're going to start making a few adjustments. It's going to really make my store look ugly, though. Look how ugly this store looking, y'all. <laughs> L layout for sure. All right, let me let me get my other shelf. Let me get my other shelf. It's cool, because in a minute, you're going to be amazed with what it looks like. But for right now, it's going to look a little weird. I'm going to still leave the caps on here. That's why I had to put that down so I can see where the cap goes. All right, we're going to still leave the cap on it, but we're getting an idea what the new aisle is going to look like. This aisle is going to look terrible for right now, though. It just is because it's like this is going to all be on this area. But until that happens, it's going to be some here, some there. It's going to be a space in between them. I probably should start moving stuff down, shouldn't I? Well, I ain't going to trip on that because I need to extend this over still anyway before I even do that. I think I'll still keep alcohol behind the counter, too. I still like that little idea of having that behind the counter. I need to start the day, too. I think having alcohol behind the counter is still cool. Eventually, he'll be in line with them. I know other people have a lot of different layouts for their cashiers, but I still like this one. This one's set up more like a Hobby Lobby or TJ Maxx or something. Like everybody's in a line and then they call you. That's kind of how this is set up. Because I did see a comment that said I should do them down the aisles to optimize space. But I think once five people is in line, I don't think it matters. But that is true. In a grocery store, a lot of the times, the cash registers are in line with the aisle to extend line space for sure so i get where you coming from i just don't know if i want to do that because then everybody gonna be sideways and as tight as i got these aisles it's gonna be like frank will be here dank will be here and then shank will be here and then eventually well i guess i could do that how you feel about that shank you want to be facing that way because that's be and they're facing the wrong direction. Nah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I know it looks like it makes sense, but it really only makes sense if... It only makes sense if the door was to the left. Now, see, that would make sense. So if I took... This would make sense. Now, if I did what you were saying going down the aisles, and what I did was flip the store where all these aisles are facing this way, if all of these aisles was facing the door... And then I put the cashiers exactly how uh, Frankie is right here in a line. And then as soon as they get out the store, they go from the aisle to the door. That would make sense. I could see that making a lot of sense. 
But that's only if I flip the entire store. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't think that's gonna happen because I like having this back door back here with the storage and I like having the computer in here. I just like having this wall kind of, it's not off limit to the customers, but they only come back here for alcohol. So we can keep an eye on who the hell's buying alcohol, you know what I'm saying? Gotta make sure these people is over the age of uh, 18 or is it 21? You gotta be 21 to drink, right? Or is it 18? I'm pretty sure it's 21. But can you buy beer at 18? I don't know if you can buy beer at 18. Can you buy beer at 18? I know you gotta be 21 to buy like liquor, liquor. But you can be 18 to smoke. I don't know. They need to just keep a base age. When, who's an adult? If you are an adult at 18, then you can do everything that you want to at 18. You can rent a car, you can fuck a hoe, you could get some cigarettes, you could drink at 18. Or if you're gonna make it 21, 21 the age of uh, everything of adulthood i mean personally i don't think you're really making the best decisions till you about 28 30 26 to 30 but that would be crazy to make the age of uh adulthood like 25 26 but at the same time like i don't know i feel like at 16 you old enough to know exactly what the hell you're doing like i was drinking and smoking i didn't drink that much but i drank and smoked at uh i was like 17 like you're definitely old enough to know what the hell's going on at 17. i actually smoked way more when i was a teenager than i did as a grown-ass adult i never smoked hardly at all as an adult but yeah i don't know it's interesting i'll be seeing people online acting like that they be acting like 22 24 is like a baby like how the fuck are you a baby at 24 years old that's insane you grown as hell at like 17 18 for real you know what the hell you doing i was shit i wanted to be damn gucci main is 18 17 years old i was trying to sell dope and i had a gun and everything <laughs> They talking about no damn baby, you know? ain't no damn baby at no damn 17 years old. I felt like I was a grown ass man, mostly 8, 19, shit, 20? You are not no damn baby. I think 21 though is alcohol, I'm pretty sure. Man, it's gonna take us forever to get this damn extension. We have 15,000. It is interesting how the ages are changing. Like, back in the day, people grew up quick. Now, I'd be seeing people online, it'd be like, I'm 25, but I still feel like I'm a teenager. It's like, yeah, but you not a fucking teenager, though. <laughs> you 25, the fuck is you talking about? It should be funny, though, man. It's like, yeah, shit, people back in the old days been married with kids by 25. People my age probably had grandkids going. <laughs> I'd be a grandpa already. That's like Chief Keith, man. Kids and had a kid already. I think Chief Keith was a grandpa at 20. Damn, I forgot when that was. That was a couple years ago. Because I think his son had a kid at 13 and he had him at 13. He's probably like 26 or something like that. That new Almighty Soul, I wasn't disappointed in that either. That new Chief. I was not mad at that new Chief Keef album at all. It wasn't is it wasn't as good as what was it finally rich? That was like the best Chief Keef setup. But yeah, that new Almighty Soul is not bad. I got a whole playlist. It's crazy to even say this, but I got a whole playlist of Chief Keef's greatest songs that I think is the greatest songs. But this was before streaming services existed. So I had actually downloaded mixtapes and mixed, you know, like put the files in a folder of all the best songs. It's crazy to think I was actually making my own mixtapes because streaming services did not exist. That's kind of crazy. But that's the way it is, man. So we got 18,000 right now. You know what? I'm thinking maybe we shouldn't refill. Because if I refill, that's going to spend $5,300. I mean, it's not always necessary to refill the storage to the max. I mean, we could do that, but like right now we trying to save money. So how about instead of we instead of us doing that, what we do is we go to the storage room and do it manually. So we we know we need some potatoes. We know we need some tissue. We know we need some tissue. We know we need some of this. We're going to just get a few things that we know we need. Flowers running low. But like, I don't necessarily need every single thing in storage to be restocked. Cause we still do got a few things back here. Cause sometimes it'll restock this and it's like, we already got 200 and something salts. We don't need more salts. Same with these. Like, I don't necessarily need honey, sugar. I don't need all that right now. We still got hella boxes. I am gonna get those few things though real quick, which would take me up to 14. I don't think some of these yeah, some of these was from yesterday. 
The potato bag, yeah, that's only gonna cost me a thousand dollars. And then we'll open up the shop. Oh, I don't even have to put these in storage no more. I don't know if y'all noticed that. So in that mod, there's an auto rack feature. Damn, this is, I don't even need this right now. So you could actually take them and hit the button and throw them in storage or they can auto rack them. Which to me makes more sense because it's almost like the stockers put them in there. We have $16,000 right now. That's cool. That's cool. 16,000. 16,000. I got this new desk, y'all. It's enormous. It's like the size of a dining room table. But all I really wanted was the depth. Because like before my desk was only 24 inches. Now I can put the monitor back. Like I can reach my arm out and still not touch the monitor, which is good. Cause like before I was hunched over it. Now I could actually chill back and be like, not too close to it. We at 18,000 y'all, 18,000. If I get a loan for what, 7,000? I'm still trying to get this section. Section 12 is 31, 31. This is so, this speed mod is so nice, man. So nice. Mostly now that the, the days go on forever, it seems like. Cause like it'll say nine o'clock, the day's over, but like you literally sit in here for like another seven hours. Let's see, 31,000 for that, or we could get our license at 22. We could actually get our license right now. But what will be the point of doing that if we don't have no place to put it? That's why I think I'm gonna keep stacking, getting up to 31. What else we got in here? We got all our cashiers. We got all our restockers. We got everything in storage. Customization coming soon. I can't wait to the update. When the update to this game come, it's about to be a totally different game. They gonna have shoplifters and everything, y'all. It's about to be crazy. So yeah, I guess I'll just keep stacking. What did I say I needed again? If I take seven out and I needed 31. Seven and 31. Yeah, 31 minus 7 is 30, is, is 20. So yeah, 24 plus the $7,000 loan, I can get this extended. If I take out a loan, which I don't think I even am. Y'all moving fast now, man. It is nice to see them moving quick. Even though they in times 3 speed, they should be moving that fast on, on general. Alright, cool. Day is over. Let's see what we made. 87 good customers. We made 5,800. And we didn't even restock nothing crazy. Let's check out this restock room real quick. Look like we got... Uh, we could probably get one of them, one of them, one of them. I'm not trying to stack up too much, but a few things. Whoops, I did not need that many sushis. Anything that's sold completely out, I'm going to go ahead and get because we don't want people to not have what they're looking for. Because then they start crying in and then we don't end up with no customers. And that's bad times. We can't be out here with, with no cut. What the hell? Why do I have salt? Wait, why are they putting... See, this happened the other day too. When I hit restock storage, you see how we already got this stocked up? Now I got a whole nother 275 peppers. I do not need 200... It's like they put the box in the wrong spot. Y'all know y'all cost me money when you do that, right? Now I got all that damn salt again. It wouldn't be so bad if it was these boxes, but them little boxes, man, you don't never need that many. Never gonna run out of pepper. I think I've been saying salt this whole time. I meant pepper. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. How much is that what I got right now? 1600 I wonder if it's the mod that's messing me up, though. But why in the hell would you put that over here? I think I, I think this whole thing is supposed to be empty. I don't even think this is supposed to have nothing on it because the sushi's right there. So why the hell we got sushi twice? That's not a big deal, though, because these, you know, we can sell these out. But all this pepper, man, come on. I was trying to leave this blank because when we get some new products, I don't know if they're going to come in a small box size or not. So yeah, these are supposed to be blank. It's a spot up there supposed to be blank, and then the two next to here is supposed to be blank, which they are. Keeping track of this shit myself so I know what's going on. Alright, we ain't buying no more storage for a few days. Already got the store open. We ain't buying no more storage for a few days. Y'all going to have to get the products that's on the shelves because we need money. We're going to be scraping. We're going to be discount storing it. You better buy it while it's here because when it's gone, it's gone. You know what I'm saying? You know, I just thought about it. Since I got all that pepper, I need to put this pepper on sale. Pepper is only six. Matter of fact, I'm going to make zero dollars on pepper. Now, nah, let's just make it seven. Make it seven dollars. It's on sale, though, by a lot. A dollar something off. Y'all got to buy that pepper because I am not trying to hold on to all that pepper right now. Day 242. What you want to do? 
damn man my bills is almost five hundred dollars every day now that's kind of crazy 500 every day no wonder i ain't hardly making no money let's do another day man no restock no restock we just going in another day i think we can handle it i mean we we running low we might start getting people complaining i'm not gonna lie we might start getting some complaining should i restock nah because if i restock that's gonna probably cost me like five thousand plus i'm mad that this is actually part of this now which is not how that's supposed to be at all i might have to do this manually again because i don't like that i don't like that they that they did that the mods ain't perfect that's for damn sure because that's the second time that's happened to me using that where they end up on a different shelf and i don't know whose fault that is I don't know if that's my fault for restocking something when they put it on the wrong shelf or is that the mods fault for putting it on the wrong shelf regardless mod that I love the most is times three we got that 30 we got that 30 30 30 man we got 31 we need to get that 31 by the end of the day and I'm gonna get that upgrade I don't care if we run out of time or not I mean run out of products or not we getting that next one nobody complained today though nobody complained that's good though because we selling a lot of items y'all see how many customers is in here it's actually insane look at look at old boy in the corner too hank hank in the corner going crazy too i definitely see that there's gonna be a certain point where four cashiers and four restockers is not enough and i mean ain't nothing we can really do about that yeah it looked like we got a couple people looking for stuff they didn't find but yeah ain't nothing we can really do about that i think there might be mods for that but i mean i wouldn't do that until we pretty much buy everything I think they can keep up. The restockers are a little bit running behind because it takes them a long time to restock, but it's not too big of a deal. Let's see, 86 people, four people didn't find what they was looking for, but that's all right. Milk went up, 38, what's that, 31? That's just enough, man, that's just enough. Let's go ahead and buy that extension. Is it stupid? Probably, but we are gonna buy it anyway. 31 hundos, 31,000, I should say, not hundos, thousands. 31 thou wows all right we got we got major major upgrades just now now we could put hank right next to shank and don't step in my damn way bro i'm trying to put this counter in all right so we got a nice line of customers i mean not customers checkouts now what you could argue you could argue this now what are we putting next to this stuff what are we putting next to that this is where i start to question is this a good layout as big as our store is gonna get is this still gonna be the most optimal situation because look these are gonna move over we already know that all of this is moving over i mean damn how many so is three on that wall is it four extensions on this wall or is that even more than four because that didn't look like that was half it looks like we're at half right now damn y'all i think it's four i think there's four different blocks on that wall i think there was three on this one and there's four on that one that's probably why that's four on that next one yeah after this so if we just do the math there should be 10 more upgrades three six nine oh that's 11 oh that's after that so after we get this two let's say that's that wall that wall then this will be the next section which should be one two three four i don't know where the five is coming from though because if we do one two three four so this will be the three four on this back wall the next section should be to extend the to the to the left with the window that'll be one two three four four because that should be the four maybe it'll be five maybe it'll be five and then one two three four five i don't know i don't know i think there's one more extension though around the whole store and for right now i'm just trying to figure out how everything is going to be set up and it's hard to do that when you when you're looking at this setup like how it is right now what if we just uh what if we can see it's a little different now things are a little different now so we could actually i had the drinks on this side what if i put the drinks what would it look like if we put everything in this corner i was just gonna expand everything over but like now i'm thinking about it what if we did something a little bit like next to the cashiers because after shank i mean after hank you don't really need nothing else we're not gonna put another cashier there we don't need this much room to walk around so what if we just go directly into the drinks yo this might actually be good and then maybe we could bring back that little corner place y'all remember how we had that little corner piece before where i had the toilet paper that i said was super cozy maybe we can throw that back in the corner and that's where the pet 
food section will be. Because the pet food section ain't going to be that big, but it does need its own piece. It needs its own piece. More is fitting back here than I thought it would. Every time I think I know what I'm going to be doing when the upgrade comes, I always end up doing something different. Every single time, I end up doing something different. And if I'm being completely honest, I don't even need this thing of chicken. We already got two things full of chicken, which is 8, 16, 32. The only reason I did that is because it was it was stupid of me to do it, so I just used it for chicken. But if I wanted to, I could just go, what was that, six? No, eight, one, two, yeah, eight. Eight freezers is plenty. You don't even need this extra. So what if I did those eight freezers right here? Would that be crazy? We still got the liquor. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not I'm not super super califragic expialidocious about it, but I'm also not really against it. What if I did owls? Owls. What you mean owls? What if I did owls facing the other way? How crazy would that be? See what's cool about doing owls is say we could do like all the drinks. Is this crazy? Mm, yeah, that's gonna look stupid. I think that's gonna look stupid eventually, if I'm being honest with you. I don't think that's gonna look that great. I could keep going over though. Damn, y'all, I really wasn't expecting this to be this much of a pain in the ass trying to figure out the, the layout. I thought I had a layout together in my head, but it seems like every single time I think that I'm wrong, literally every single time. We got enough beer to last forever, two, so it's three of those. You know, technically, I could get one more refrigerator of this and do one of each beer. It's not necessary, but I could do it. I think I might need to take a little bit of thinking time and think about what the hell I'm doing because I thought I knew what I was about to do and now I don't know at all what I'm doing. I'll be right back. We got to do some thinking. We got to do some brainstorming. That way we can come back with some ideas because I really thought I knew what I was doing right now. I only got $800 too. I need to open up just to get some money to restock. Throw some of this stuff in inventory if it ain't already in there. Yeah, throw some of that in inventory. Matter of fact, are we selling out any of that sushi? We got two right there. We got one right there. So let's put this one that we just threw in here and put it behind the proper one. Take this one, throw it over here, and then get rid of this label. Same with this. I don't know where the other one is, but we need to take that out, get rid of that label. The pepper is kind of, it is what it is. We're going to have to just wait on that, but we should be all right. We should be all right. I might run a few days just to stock up, come up with some different ideas, but because I am not liking this at all right now. It's because I don't have them extensions yet, too. If I got these extensions done, I think I'll be all right. But let's just say I got the extensions. That's still not going to help the fact that I'm going to have all this empty room to the right or to the left, depending on where you're standing. Like, okay, if I get the extension, boom, all the refrigerators, all the over here, everything is out the way to this exact point that I'm standing, but over here. So then what am I doing with all of that space that's going to be in this back corner? Because all this is going to be free space. Now, maybe you could put pet food section there, possibly. Pet food next to beer is kind of, I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's not exactly what I would do, but it's not the end of the world. Damn, I don't know. I definitely need to rethink some stuff for sure. I probably should make these episodes shorter, but like, I, I, I like the longer episodes, and I'm sure y'all like them. I mean, it's the least I could do seeing that I don't stream. If I don't stream, I could at least make long episodes, you know what I mean? So it kind of feel like a VOD, but it's not really a VOD. All right, so I got my ideas last night. I got my ideas last night, and now this is going to be the second half of this video, but we got plenty of ideas, man. So what I'm going to do, first I'm going to turn my lights on, and then I'm going to show y'all what we're going to do. So this is how we're going to set this up. I'm going to do refrigerators on the back wall, freezers in the middle. Now, right now, we only got one more brick. We got one more block to unlock, which I ain't really tripping too much on that because we don't even really need it that bad. Um, and then we want to do all the refrigerators. I did all the spacing differently, so I didn't really line anything up yet. Everything is still a mess because I ain't really want to do too much without y'all. But basically what I did was I took one of these and I made sure that every aisle was big enough to have one of these in the middle. That's how I spaced them. And doing this type of spacing actually helped me out a lot because like right here i wasn't sure if that was enough space but you see like each one is just enough to fit one of those so 
what was so cool about doing that is I freed up a lot of space in the front. So now y'all see we got we got a probably about a whole shelf worth of space that's moved over now. So this whole lane is gonna be a lot bigger. So it's not gonna be as tight, which cause this was way too tight. This was way too tight. So we gotta move everything over. We gotta change all the shelves. We're gonna be doing a lot of like decorating this episode because yeah, I got a whole lot to do, a lot of organizing. I got all this pepper over here, which I should just throw away. Matter of fact, can I just do, let's do 622. Let's just break even, breaking even. Uh, let's run a day, let's run a day. Let's just see, let's just see. I did go through some of the mods. I deleted a few that I felt like wasn't really doing much. And it seemed like it made the game run a little bit faster. I'm not sure if it if it really did or not. I still got the time mod though, because I think the time mod is still really important to keeping the the flow of the game going. You know what I'm saying? They do get kind of glitched up a little bit with it, where they sit and sit and look at something for a long time. But I was like, yo, it still helps with the momentum of the store, mostly with restocking. I just hope that I, I get some people to buy that damn pepper, man. I know y'all want this pepper. We on pepper patrol today. Look at my boy right here. Look at my boy. Go and get you some more, man. Yeah, we need all this pepper gone. Because see, this pepper, I don't want to just get rid of it. And I mean, I know they're going to restock it because it's in the stock room. But I got boxes of pepper right here. And it's like, bro, I don't need all this damn pepper, man. It's almost to the point where I'm getting ready to throw it away. That's why I put it, I'm breaking even. So if we can break even on it, I'm cool with that. Yo, by the way, last night, y'all, it was a car accident outside the store. I'm not even gonna lie. It was a car accident right here outside the store. I don't know how it happened. I looked outside and the car was flipped upside down on top of the other one. I don't know what happened, bruh. It was like, I don't know if it hit me and messed up the game. I have no idea, but... I throw a clip in of what exactly happened. It was crazy. I was like, yo, this is the first ever. See that like they do stuff like this. Like I don't know. I think this is just a mod trying to like recalculate the speed of the game. I don't know. I like the speed mod, but I was thinking about taking it out to be honest. Just because it does seem like it kind of breaks the game. I mean, I am asking a lot from an early access game that has no speed control at all. We are asking a lot right now. We are asking a lot. But I mean, if we don't try to break the game, who will? You know what I'm saying? If we, if we don't do it, who gonna do it, bro? I was like, yo, I just got up. Let's jump on the supermarket simulator. Because last night I was messing with the um, ideas. I still don't have no ideas where I'm putting these products at. But I at least wanted to get the layout in my head together. And the way we're going to do this layout, it's going to be good regardless. It's, it's going to be good regardless if we get that back corner. Because that back corner is actually going to end up costing us way too much money. Like, look how much this back corner is going to be. $52,000. I could almost buy three licenses for $52,000. So, I'm probably not even going to be tripping on that back corner all like that. At least right now. I think I'll focus more on the licenses. Because, look, we leveling up. We got plenty of levels. But this money, like, we ain't got this kind of money. But I think that's what I'm going to do. Because when you look at the product license, you see here the biggest one, 65000 But... The biggest one on the store is 160000 So, it's just not going to be feasible trying to expand the space in the store over the actual products in the store. Plus, we're going to have a lot of empty shelves. We already got empty shelves right now. Mostly when we start moving stuff around, it's about to be crazy. Because I'm moving that whole chemical aisle over. Every aisle that you see right now is going to be moved over into an another aisle. And then adding on top of that is going to be me changing the order of products because like the shampoo and the hand soap has to go in the chemical aisle now and then we're going to get more chemicals. That's why I was like, I might as well just run the day because I'm pretty sure the next one we're going to get is going to be that chemical one, right? Yeah, we got cleaner, dish soap, fabric softener. I probably should go with this one and then go with this one. Because, see, this is 22000 This is 34000 But these are the same type of product. So you got your cleaner, your fabric softener, paper towels, toilet paper, toothpaste. We already got soap. So I think we're going to focus on these two, um, which is going to be, what is that, 56000 basically $57,000. 
So pretty much what it would cost me to build the store, I can get them whole aisles done. Nah, you know what? Maybe I'll focus on books, because books is going to be empty. We're going to have empty shelves. We're going to have a whole empty aisle with the cl uh, chemicals. The cat food, dog food, I'm still not sure where I'm putting that at. Some of this is going to mess up my flow, I ain't going to lie. What we do today, man? 103 customers, $7,300. We lost $400. How the hell do we do that? Because them damn supplies, man. I swear. It's cool to have like the stock room stocked up, but it feel like you don't make no money because you always are worried about stocking. I could throw... Damn, this say the rack is full. You know what? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. We're gonna have to take up this salt. We're gonna have to just take up this salt, man. I don't know if we're gonna just throw it away. I hate to throw it away, though, because it isn't pepper. I mean, I keep saying salt. I mean pepper. Isn't pepper a lot of money though? Like, let's see how much pepper is. Pepper is a hundred dollars each. Damn, yo. So if I get rid of that, I'm I'm throwing away like a couple hundred dollars. Damn, man. I don't. I, this is why I hate when that messes up. So I figured out why it messes up. So why that was doing that is because when I would hit refill storage, if they were still stocking whatever they had in their hand. They wouldn't be able to put back on the shelf because I just refilled the storage. So then they would put it on the empty shelf would be in that back corner. And then I would refill the storage again, not realizing that they put a, a real low box in a free space and then it would fill the free space up. That's why that happens. So whenever I refill storage, I need to either keep an eye on this storage room or wait until they finish restocking and then hit refill storage. One of the two. But I'm so sick of this damn salt. I keep calling it salt. I'm so sick of this damn pepper. I don't know. I, I might just throw it away. Seems ridiculous, but it's just in the way. You know what else I found out? If you put on the times five, it, like if you do the time up, like we do times three, look how fast you can unstock stuff. <laughs> Hey, bro, these mods, man, I be making my life easier. I'm not going to lie. They still have come restock them quick, though, because they move in three times speed, too. But it just make everything a little bit better for us trying to redo stuff. Mostly something like this. But I got to get this pepper out of here. It's just gotten to the point where it's like, what are we even doing, bro? Nice. Appreciate you, bro. Really like the fact that you did that. All right, so I got all this pepper sitting here. I'm sure maybe a few could go in storage. Damn, none of these can go in storage. All right, we don't need to be in three speed. So the first thing I want to do is I want to line everything up. So right now, this is how we going to line this up. None of the products is actually where I want them to be. But I was just like, yo, I might as well just line them up. And then I could move them because see what's important really right now is going to be lining everything up. Not going to be so much. That's not even, but for some reason. Or should I line, should I put everything where I need to put it? Because what we got this like, we got cheese eggs i probably need to move cheese over so cheese should, the cheese should start here and then we'll have the drinks on the end if i do that like that i'm not really sure if i'm gonna do that like that or not let's just move this stuff over some i'm gonna move the eggs over this way though move the eggs over there we're gonna move the cheese all the way to the left and then we're gonna move the milk out out the way Doing them aisles by that was like some, one of the best ways to do that. If any of y'all playing this game and y'all want to space out your aisles perfectly, that's a good way to do it. Because it's just enough space to make a, a, a nice spacing. Like you see, like, that's good spacing right there. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty good spacing. It could be bigger, but you don't want it to be too big because there's really no point for it to be big if you're not going to... Uh, if you're not gonna really be walking down it. I mean, the customers can walk through each other. So now if they ever release an update where the customers can't walk through each other, then yeah, we're gonna have a problem. All right, so next to the cheese, we're gonna do the, the butter. We're gonna do the eggs, the butter, and then we're gonna go milk. We're gonna go milk next to that. And then this is where it's gonna get kind of confusing because what we had next to that before was what? The pop, right? Yeah, it was the water. And I don't know. Because now we got two more drinks. I don't know if we're going to use that same layout. Because it's kind of like, why use that layout when we got this layout? But I don't know. We'll we'll see how it play out. We'll see how it play out. Let's at least get everything lined up. Because this is going to take a, a nice piece of change in itself. Just lining this stuff up. And I don't know even know how many we're going to get in a line before we hit the wall. That's not perfect, but it's all right. Because see, we got plenty of room down here. It's actually insane how much room we got. Because not only do we have that, we got this whole spot here. 
So when this gets, how many of these you think you could put in? At least two, two or three. That's another two or three on that side. Damn, I wonder how I should do this. We got the water right there, which is kind of weird if I, cause I had this all set up kind of like this. All right, let's move the meats. Let's see how many of these we could fit down here. Cause if we can move the meats down, and we could get three of these down here. I mean, having the meats kind of in the corner is not a big deal. And then we could put the drinks up in the front. Oh yeah, we could get a whole lot of these. There's three right here. And this spacing is actually okay because like I said, eventually what we gonna do is this is gonna get removed and then this is gonna be a part where you could walk behind the aisles and then we're gonna do one on the back wall. I think that's how we gonna play that. Yeah, we got plenty of space here. We almost got enough space here where I'm like, yo, do we start with the do we start with the water here well i did remove three didn't i so that is three that's the three we need and then we do the sodi pop right at the end wow look at that that's actually really really nice now we do have one problem we need one more freezer one more refrigerator to make that look good if we got one more refrigerator though what will we utilize it with is any products need their own refrigerator that's the question we actually got plenty of space down here for more stuff in these oh uh, we could put the beer should I, should I start taking the beer from outside from from behind the counter and just putting it back here that's a good question that's a very good question i'm also starting to think maybe i need to start utilizing the space a little bit better too because i'm looking at these eggs and i'm like all right you got three eggs right there we could put milk right there move the eggs put the eggs at the bottom of each one of these i mean eggs at the bottom is that crazy though i mean these eggs are at the bottom but we could do eggs here eggs there eggs there and then milk could go right here at the bottom of this one you free up three you could put three beers you could put one of them in each beer and then damn that actually kind of makes sense y'all i ain't gonna lie that kind of makes sense i'm gonna up the speed just to help me with the yeah that kind of makes sense y'all i ain't gonna lie to y'all oh wait i did get a mod that's supposed to pause the restockers let's see if that works let's see if that works let's speed it up let's get him back to where he's supposed to go all right now supposedly you go up to them and you hit pause on the keyboard and then supposedly they ain't supposed to do nothing supposedly now is that true let's see hell nah that ain't true look at old boy i'm gonna beat you there bro oh shit i got stuck all right stop 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 all right that mod did not work and we cannot trust that mod at all which i kind of figured you couldn't you can't never trust the mod till you try it you know what i'm saying let me get all these eggs put up. <laughs> this times three shit is so nice, bro. This is only times two, actually. Just a little bit faster, man. For us, you know, impatient folks. You get stuff done just a little bit faster. But it's cool because it's more time to play the game, you know what I'm saying? Less time doing dumb stuff, more time to play the game. I think that's where we putting them, right? Yeah, that's where it's go. And then those go there. Bam. Delete that box. These go here. Boom. Delete that box. And then we could take this milk. Milk come out. Milk go in there. All right. I need to chill. Delete these labels before they end up sneaking me. Look at him. He already trying to sneak me. Get rid of that label. I'm taking a chance doing that. All right, one more, one more. Matter of fact, that's cool that you did that because I needed one more anyway. Delete that and then we can now take that beer. Matter of fact, let's go back down in slow mo, normal mode. We could take this beer from over here and bring it over here. Beer next to milk though, is that insane? Beer next to milk is kind of insane, but it's gonna be with the rest of this stuff. So I don't think it's that crazy. It's crazy, but it ain't that crazy. I would prefer to do it like a little bit further away, but you know, you never know. Maybe we will, maybe we will. But for right now, we just trying to line these up to see how it looks. Okay, so now instead of this being individuals, Let's get that speed. We're going to do an entire thing of that. That's cool. Go ahead and refill it. Because all, all I'm going to do is use them all to fill up this. Yeah, keep refilling it. It's cool. It's cool. Y'all ain't even in my way right now. Because I need these refilled so I can fill this up. 
And then whatever's left over is going back in storage. See, we, we ain't always got to work against each other, y'all. We ain't always got to work against each other. All right, so now we are working against each other because I'm already done. All right, that's 15, 15. All right, cool, 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 cool. Let me throw this in storage. It's occupied by restocker. All right, y'all need to chill. Y'all need to chill. We need to turn the game on uh, <laughs> on normal speed because they, they doing too much now. They doing too much. All right, let's restock this. Throw this in the box. Throw that over there. Take this. Get them out of there. Throw it over there. All right, y'all. Y'all are really doing too much now. Okay, okay, okay. We're not working together no more. We are not working together no more. This was a big mistake. I should have known it was a mistake trying to work with y'all. Okay, let me get these out of here. Damn, bro. I can't even get them out before they go put them back in. Okay, get those out of there. In a minute, we're going to run out of storage. They ain't going to even be able to come back. Boom. One more. And we straight. One more and we straight. Boom. Bam. All right, cool. Now we're going to take these red ones. We're going to line this whole thing up with them. Going to line them up. Do something productive, man. Line these up. Y'all must not have none of these stuck in there. Cause you're not restocking. All right, and then we're gonna take these and we're gonna redo all of them so y'all can refill them too. And then everything that's in storage over here is occupied by restocker. How, Sway? Ain't nothing else for you to restock over there. Come on, y'all, get on your job. How is this occupied by restocker? Well, regardless, we're gonna throw these these uh, orange ones in storage because I know we ain't gonna use them because we already got that filled up. So all of them going back in storage. This is still pepper. All this is still pepper. Fine. Cool, we need to just have an aisle full of pepper. All right, so we got all the beer. All the beer is next to the milk, which is, like I said, kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. It might make more sense for me to move something. I don't know, though, because that three lines up. I don't know how that three lines up, but three lines up. Now, when we open this up some, maybe it won't, but for some reason, three lines up. Three almost would line up here because you could put an individual one. Look at this lane. <laughs> getting stuck in this little tiny ass hallway all right i think we good y'all we good we good the freezer refrigerator setup is really nice it's a nice nice lineage good lineage good whiff you know what i'm saying on the lanes i think this is great uh spacing for sure and then whenever we unlock that last piece we'll just continue on down the road but we ain't really even tripping because we don't even need no more refrigerator space even if we did need refrigerator space you can see right here we got two four six open spots down at the bottom of that we got two four six i know we good on freezer space probably went overkill on freezers but it's all right and then now we need to start making these lanes this way now this is going to be the new dinner aisle we got to remember that this is new dinner aisle so this aisle is going to be here and then this aisle is going to be here so we're going to have to move i just want to do this smart this is where i need the, the shelf to be so instead of this being here let's move this one right well i do kind of want to set up the shelves a little differently all right well let's just take a freshie let's take a freshie and let's just put that right where it's supposed to be right on the corner right there and then we can start fresh because I do want to put the rice. This is like the Uncle Ben's rice. We're going to put long time rice with the basmati rice and also the basic rice, the alloy rice. We're going to do all the rices next to each other. And then we're going to do the elbows next to the whatever these are next to the pasta next to the spaghetti. And then we'll do mashed potatoes next to the actual potatoes. I think that's a W layout for sure big w layout so what does that mean that means i need to get this rice i do need to get rid of these restockers though i really wish that mod worked supposedly you were supposed to go up to them and hit pause but that is not doing nothing like at all damn i know if i fire them it's gonna cost me a lot of money though because you end up having to charge like you get charged when you hire them back so if i fired every restocker that would end up costing me four hundred dollars no 300 oh it's different for each one so that's 310 plus that's 460 it would cost me 460 dollars to hire them back which i mean is it really that big of a deal i would say probably not you know what i'm saying probably not not a huge deal 
if I fired the restockers and hired them back. It's only going to cost me like $400 and it's going to save me a lot of headache when I'm doing this. Let's just get rid of them. I hate to do it because it does cost me money, but it is what it is. I'd rather not have them in my way when I'm trying to do stuff than have them and then be like annoying as hell. Mostly when we're trying to do this part. So what I was thinking is we go, should we do Uncle Tom? I mean, Uncle Tony. <laughs> should we do Uncle Tony on the inside or the outside? I'm thinking inside. I'm thinking inside. Doing this in times two speed is nice. Very nice. Yeah, and then we'll do Baz Mati on the end. Whoops. See, now we ain't even got to worry about them messing us up. Yeah, I think we'll do that, and then we'll do Boz Mati right here on the end. I'm going to turn this down to 0.5. 2 is just a little too fast. 25 is actually not bad. Just give you a little bit of extra speed. Nothing crazy. So, yeah, we'll do the Boz Mati, because I'm pretty sure Boz Mati is the best rice, right? I don't know. It sounds fancy. Boz Mati rice. Let's see how much it costs. That's 650 Uncle Ben's is 1061 though 448 in profit damn uncle ben's is actually the best one and then we got the basic rice which is only 456 cheap ass rice you know what i'm saying that's cool though we, we need options we need options i'm just glad i got rid of them restockers because now i ain't got to worry about them coming in messing up my flow while we doing all this redoing this renovation i know i went all the way from saying Oh, I don't want to use no mods to use a hella mods, <laughs> but it's like, yo, it actually made the game more fun. In my opinion, it just made it more like it just flowed better. It's like for some reason with the mods, I mean, for some reason with this game, the, the later you get in the game, it's almost not optimized for you getting that far. So things end up taking a really long time. Like it never took this long to get like product updates and stuff like that. Product license when we was at the start it took a few days but like now i got the time going going forward and i got all these restockers and it still seems like it takes so much time and could you imagine how long this would take if if i um i was just looking should i swap those could you imagine how long it would take if we had to put every box from the street in the storage room every time the store closed that's just not that's just not even this is not even realistic at that point. I'm not even going to lie. That's not even realistic. Which I'm sure they wasn't expecting people to be playing it this much. Because this game, this game kind of blew up out of nowhere. But it's fun. So it's like kind of made sense why it blew up. But I don't think the developer was expecting it. I think the developer was probably like, damn, bro. I just, I just made the game. You know what I'm saying? Why does he sound like Mickey? I don't know. <laughs> but he does all right we got the rice right there i gotta see if what this looks like switched i just gotta see if i like it better or worse because if i like it better we switching them is it unnecessary yes but do i like the red blue white or do i like the blue red damn i kind of like the red blue white better plus it's the most expensive you want people to buy it is this a waste of time? Of course it is. But did y'all expect it? Of course you did. You know how it is when we doing these renovations, man. It really don't take that long, though. Mostly with all these different mods we got in, this box mod really comes in handy. It's just... It wouldn't even be feasible doing this without it. Yeah, I think I like that a little bit better. The red, blue, white. Red, white, and blue. Damn, should we do... All right, bro. We're not doing that. It's by prices. This is 10. This is 6. This is 4. You want people to buy the, the most expensive. And then what we going to do? Mashed potatoes and then potatoes down the rest? I don't know. Mashed potatoes and potatoes down the rest? Or do we do... Because right now we got four more. I think we definitely do mashed potatoes next to the rice. I think that makes sense. We'll do mashed potatoes next to the rice. And you got to put the potatoes next to the mashed potatoes, right? I mean, you got the easy way or you got the difficult way. Which one are you picking? 
ain't gonna lie, them instant mashed potatoes definitely taste better, but the homemade ones taste better. I mean, <laughs> I said that wrong. The instant mashed potatoes taste good, but they, I don't even know what I'm saying. The instant mashed potatoes taste better, unless somebody really know what they're doing. But if you mash up potatoes, it tastes more natural, which makes it feel like it tastes better. Does that make any sense? Hell nah. Okay, so then we got we got the rice aisle right there. Let me move these over because everything is about to be moved out the way and in the way. So that's our rice. That's our potatoes. And then let's go. Should we do salt and pepper though? Yo, should we do salt and pepper? I forgot about salt and pepper. We could do salt and pepper real quick. Salt, pepper on the end. And then go rice and potatoes. Because how many shells is this? This is probably three. Three at least, right? I don't know. I got to see. I got to see what this looks like right here. We might could do salt and pepper on the other side. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. So should you do two rows or three rows? That's the question. Two rows or three rows? I mean, how many is this? Two, four, six, eight, 16, 32. That's actually plenty of potatoes. We don't really need another shelf full of potatoes. We can fit another shelf though, right? Yeah, one more shelf, one more shelf. So I could move that down, do salt, pepper, and then on this side, we're gonna do four, which will be the pasta, spaghetti, elbows and then we'll have three more shelves to add other stuff to which i don't know if you noticed or not but uh those are three shelves right there do we add alcohol nah we can't do that we can't do that the alcohol fits there too good it just fits here too good man hmm i don't know though what about potato chips I would prefer potato chips around all the condiments, but like, you notice the cereal and breakfast aisle is just packed. It's packed. And I don't think that I'm gonna unpack it any kind of way where I'm gonna be able to fit chips down there. What other products we got? I probably should focus on that because that's what's really gonna make a difference because we're gonna have products too. So we got cleaner, we know that. We got books, we know that. We got cat food, dog food. I'm thinking I'm gonna separate that somewhere else in the store. So that's not a big deal. We do, you see this right here? We got cake. We got more cake, we got more chips. Those are gonna make big differences. Bottled water, not a big deal. Soda, not a big deal. This cake, unless that soda is a shelf item, which it very well might be. I hope it's not, but if it is, we're gonna have to change some stuff. This cake though, two more cakes is kind of crazy. Books, chemicals, more cake. So that's four cakes, more chocolate, chocolate powder, which I don't even know what that is. That sounds like it would go in the coffee aisle. Sugar, that's coffee aisle. Yogurt, that's refrigerator. Beer, not a big deal. Damn, so this cake aisle, this cake, chocolate, candy, sugar, that aisle right here, this is gonna be an issue because I don't want to add no more to this. What could we take out of this aisle? We could take cereal out. I mean, we got the cereal with the milk, which kind of makes sense, but we could take that out. We could take candy out. That was four different cakes, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was four different cakes. Damn, y'all. We're going to have to make some adjustments because there's no way that this is going to be lined up the way it should be lined up. Let me just move these shelves where they need to be because if I keep playing around, we ain't never going to get done. All right, so that's our, our next aisle. We just moving the aisles because let me turn this back on normal speed too. Ain't no need to be fighting the clock. So this is going to be the new aisles and I'd rather just make them right now so everything is even. We're going to have a lot of space though. We made a lot of space. I mean, we upgraded the store like what, five times? four times feels like it we definitely upgraded a lot damn that's actually got some space in between it is this even oh damn this ain't even even y'all what the hell this ain't even against the wall all the way all right well we're gonna have to make a little bit of slight adjustments that's all slight adjustments no biggies just slight adjustments it's important that we get them all the right way from that direction though because if I ever want to put caps on the end of this, everything needs to line up. Plus, we don't have no free space to be wasting up near the top of the store because that's all customer walkway. Can't put this. All right, that's slightly 
slightly out. I'm gonna trust the judgment that I did on that one, but like for some reason, ooh, these are tight fits. They're slightly off, they're slightly off, but we could just take a couple seconds and fix it, it's cool. Shouldn't be that long. I just gotta keep clicking this mouse button cause it's like such a tight fit, you barely can get it. There we go, all right, cool. So that aisle is perfect as far as placement. W placement, bam, and then that's gonna be our refrigerator, that's perfect, that's perfect placement. Now we gotta think about our next situation. Now we do wanna do salt and pepper. That is something we're gonna be messing with. I'm gonna just put this stuff where it's supposed to be though. And this ain't even lined up, is it? Yeah, it's not. Let me make sure this is lined up first. I probably should line it up with the back wall, but it's all right, let's just do this one. Cause if this is lined up, it should line up good on the back. They should have a clicking mechanism in here. If they had like a clicking locking mechanism, that would be really nice. So when you pick up one of these shells, it would lock right to the next one. That'd be beautiful. They need to add that for sure. It's just nice to widen some of these aisles up. These aisles was getting mad tight. Cause I think I was just doing them side by side, mostly on that one. That one that we did was like literally on each other. Look at that, look at that, look at that. It's coming together, man. It's coming together. It's taking a, it's taking a little time, but it's coming together. Let me make sure this is placed right before I start going crazy. That is not even with that at all. Look at that. That is not even. What's a good way to make it? Maybe if I did this. Oh, yeah, that's that's how we got to do it. So we're going to have to put a shelf here so we can help line ourselves up. Even that's not perfect. But, I mean, perfect is a lot to try to strive for. We just trying to strive for damn near there. If we can get damn near there, we're good. All right, so damn near there is right here. So we can start right here. <laughs> this placement is crazy. I knew this was going to take a minute. I was actually thinking about doing it off camera last night, but I was like, nah, I'm going to bring my people with me, man. You know what I'm saying? Bring my people with me. Is that good placement, though, in the middle? Oh, shit, I got to I gotta test it, y'all. I got to test it out, which means I need to grab one of these. Is that is that good in the center? Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. We need to keep one of them out just in case. So placement's good. Everything's straight there. That's good. That's good aim. That's damn good aim. And then we're going to put this next to it. Just start evening these out. I was going to do it where I had to flip the shells, but like it's better for me just to do it like this and then we'll flip any individual shelf because a lot of the times the shelves we're going to be flipping is going to be full of stuff and we ain't going to know where it's going to go anyway. So we might as well just do what we got to do. All right, we got one more shelf. Where is that shelf? Oh, that's here? That's this shelf? Or maybe that's this shelf. I got all these damn shelves everywhere. None of the products is where they supposed to be, but it's cool. Damn, that don't even fit. Come on, bruh. You can't do me dirty like that. You cannot do me dirt like that. Hey, did y'all know that Ice Spice was actually born on New Year's Day in the year 2000? I found that out yesterday randomly. I forgot why I was looking at her birthday. But I was looking, oh, because she did her new music video and she had Y2K on the license plate. And I was like, oh, damn, what she do that for? And then I looked and she was born literally. She was literally born at Y2K. Like they thought the world was about to end in 2000. I was a kid, so I really don't remember that. I know the 2000s was good, though. I always talk about the 90s, but the early 2000s was hitting too, y'all. Not gonna lie, the early 2000s was definitely a good time period. Because at that time, it was like, it was coming out of the 90s, which was still like, it was that vibe, you know what I mean? It was just a little bit more technology. I feel like if you wanted to live like it was 2000, it would not be that bad. You could still have a cell phone, it would just be texting. That would be like your, your social media would be texting at that point. I don't think it would be that hard. Something is really messed up here and I don't know why, but it is. It's like everything is slightly too far over. And I don't know how that's messing that up because this was actually in the right place. All right, you know what we gotta do? Give me this, give me this freezer. Fr freezer. We gotta line this up from this way, that's all. We just gonna have to line it up from this way. So we got the freezer right there and then we gonna have to figure out the placement from back here. It should really not be this damn difficult, but it is, so it's cool. All right, for some reason that got all off center. It's like my damn store is uneven. All right, now everything should be good now. This is still gonna be off, but it's gonna be off because this one's off. I was watching this and you see right here, um, <laughs> 
That was the best part, you know what I'm saying? That thing back there moving, you know what I'm saying? Wait, where's the license plate? Damn, where the hell is Oh, there it is. So you see on the license plate, it say Y2K. I mean, eventually we're going to get to the license plate. It's crazy watching this with no, yeah, see it say Y2K. So I was like, yo, when was Ice Spice born? And that joint, she was born January 1st, 2000. That is probably one of the coolest years to be born. I'm not going to lie. That's like one of the coolest setups. Literally New Year's Day Y2K is crazy. That's like some alien shit. All right. So we're going we gonna to put this where it's supposed to be, which is right there. Now, to me, that don't line up, but I guess that lines up. Yeah, I guess that do line up. Does it line up perfectly? It's a little bit short. I can make that a little bit better. Let's see. We're going we gonna to make that a little bit better. I keep messing up. Yeah, like that. That's cool. 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 Is this more pepper? Come on, bro. I am plagued by pepper right now. I'm not going to lie. I am plagued by pepper. Plague by pepper. Plague by pepper. All right, let's get this bread where it's supposed to go. That's going to be in the way over there, of course. I need to move this out the way. See, it's kind of dumb that I'm doing this right now because literally all of these are going to be moved. Like, all of these are going to be moved over. The only reason I'm doing it is because I'm like, yo, if I move one, I can put another one back without any issues. So, like, for, for instance, potato chips. I mean, potato chips right here would actually make sense, right? Next to the chip, next to the potatoes. So you got actual potatoes, then you got potato chips at the very end. It don't make the most sense, but I mean, it is all potatoes. Know what I'm saying? It is all potatoes. So like that. And then we gonna swap these two, but we can't do that right now because damn. All right, so let's put this back. Let's put this back. I just gotta make sure my grid don't get disrupted because if my grid gets disrupted, it's gonna mess up the whole thing. Okay, so cool. Grid is secure. We're good. What's going on the end? Elbows or yeah, let's just do elbows on the end. So we literally gonna just put those right there. So they're gonna go right on the side piece. Just like that. And then we're gonna take the pasta here and we're gonna put them right next to it. That's gonna be all our pastas. This is where the restockers could come in handy if they would just chill out because then I could just put one and they could do the rest, but it's cool. We gotta do everything manually. When it comes to remaking the store, renovating the store, we gotta do it manually. That's just the way the cook that's just the way the cookies crumble, you know what I'm saying? That's just the way them cookies crumble at that basic ass crumble cookie, you know what I mean? And then we're gonna take this shelf out. We're gonna move this shelf over here. And then we're gonna take this full shelf, but our grid is still intact. We still good. We're gonna move that full shelf right here. It's gonna line up like that. It's sticking out a little bit. I don't like that. Am I gonna be that crazy about it? Mm, possibly. All right, cool, 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 cool. That's good, that's good. So we got all our pastas. We got our rice potatoes. Chips though, I mean, chips is kinda like, I don't know y'all. I might actually put chips on the corner. If I do chips right here on the corner, I mean sandwich aisle gonna be right there. Speaking of sandwich aisle, we need to flip this. Let's get rid of these labels, even though it don't really matter because they're gonna get replaced in a minute. We're gonna flip this aisle this way. And then we're gonna take sandwich aisle, bring it over here to this section. Cause see our whole goal right now is flipping everything where it needs to go. So you see sandwich aisle is gonna be there. These are actually really nice size aisles now. They're way better than they was. Cause this is how they were. Let me see this. Let me see where we was at. How was this before? They were damn near on top of each other. Yeah, so we definitely got some more room, which is dope. More room is always a good thing. Let me take my refrigerator out of here. We need to put this refrigerator. Uh, let's just set it right here for right now. Now everything in this aisle needs to go over, but right now I ain't tripping too much because salt and pepper needs to go somewhere and I need to figure that out now before I forget about it and end up in a bad situation. Where is salt and pepper going? You could do, what if you did salt, pepper, potato chips? How many chips is back here? That'd be eight, that'd be 16 of each. Not really what I want. This is more what I want, 32 of each. If I did salt, pepper, so if I did salt, pepper, eight Covidos, eight Doritos, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. It's really not. It's not really the most optimal as far as like products involved, but it's not terrible. 
So that would basically be me taking these up right here, throwing this over there, taking these up here, and putting these down here. Deleting that box, putting pepper on both of these. Deleting that box, taking these, throwing these in storage. Good, I'm glad we had some storage. And then putting a the pepper next to it. Give me that pepper, give me that pepper. We got plenty of damn pepper. And then putting pepper next to the salt. And then this whole thing will go right here on the edge. So it would kind of be dinner aisle, but it wouldn't be very far from sandwiches. I mean, it'll literally be right behind sandwiches. I think I like that idea. I think that's a W plan. Let's see. Let's see how it looks. Let's see how it looks and feels before we say 100% yeah, 100% no. That's how it would look. And then this will be moved over. <laughs> this is actually crazy trying to do all of this in, in the middle of the store. Damn, bro, I got so much space. All right, cool. Move that over and then move this down, right? Yeah, we're going to move this one down. Get that nice and snug. And then I should be able to move this one in that spot. So we got pasta elbows next to chips. Damn, really? That's not going to fit there? Come on, bruh. I know I'm squeezing a lot of space, but it's like, damn, give me a little bit of leeway. There is a mod that'll take the limitations out, but I feel like the limitations are good because they show you... Oh yeah, we got it, we got it. We just gotta get it in there. Get it in there right, get it in there right. There it is, hold up. There we go. So yeah, the limitations is cool. I don't mind the limitations. I think I wanna flip some stuff though. I think I wanna put this here and bring that here or move this over just so it's not blue on blue. I want the blue to be separated. This isn't bad though. This is not bad. Let's get another one of them salts. Fill that up real quick. I keep calling pepper salt. But y'all know what I mean. Get another pepper. We got plenty of damn pepper. All right, stack that up. Throw this over here. Throw it, bruh. Throw it, throw it, throw it. I'm not mad at that. I'm not loving it, but I'm not mad at it. Maybe I should flip. I was thinking maybe I should do the red bags next to the chips because it kind of looks like chips. So maybe do like... Let me see something real quick. Something easy, something easy. We're going to do something quick, something real quick. Take the G, put it there, take another G, drop it here. I said a G, I'm in a box, I'm pressing G. Okay, so next to red, we could do, red is pasta. Isn't all of this technically pasta? This is more like spaghetti though, right? Like elbows, elbows and these things are like the same thing though, aren't they? They are. For some reason, I feel like the red would look good next to this one. And then we do elbows and spaghetti. So, do the blue next to the red? Yeah. I did this kind of stupid, but it's cool. Don't they call these like shoots or something? Like they got elbows and then they got shoots or straws. I don't know nothing about cooking. I don't know nothing about cooking, y'all. I ain't even gonna sit there and tell no lies. Damn, I put something on the shelf behind it. I need to get that. There's a few things I don't know nothing about, and cooking is definitely one of them. Okay, so now what we gonna do is we gonna swap spots. I'm pretty sure you can box this up and everything stays on the box. I really hope that's the case. Cause I, if, if it's not, then I just deleted everything and that'll suck. Okay, so I think that's good. And then this should fit. Yeah, perfect, it still fits. That's gonna fit like right. Nah, that's not quite right. Not quite right, mate. Mm, that's good enough, that's good enough. So then that's the new layout. I think that looks pretty good. The blue is still next to each other though. I don't know how I missed that. How is the blue still next to each other? That was the whole point of me doing that. Okay, so that's how that's gonna look. I think that looks pretty good though. I think that looks good for dinner aisle. Dinner, salt, seasoning, pepper, chips of course, right next to the sandwiches, plus somewhat dinner. Um, We got, what, two more full shelves? Three actually, three more full shelves. Cause this one next to the potatoes isn't taken up. Still again, I must, I must say. I must say this, how many shelves is the liquor taking up? What's more adult than dinner? Liquor? I could do that, man. I really could. I could switch up this whole store, to be honest. I could put liquor in the back and, I mean, it is what it is. 
it's it's kind of set up again where you got Hank. Hank can look and make sure ain't nobody no kids back there buying liquor. Shank can see everybody buying sandwiches. Dank can see everybody buying cookies and coffee and all of that. And then Frank can see everybody buying books and chemicals. Cause I forgot this is gonna be chemical aisle. So we're not really finished with this yet. So dinner aisle is looking good. That was a successful move on dinner aisle for sure. Big time success on moving dinner aisle. But we still got moving to do. I was just sitting here thinking. So if we got two, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all, wait a minute. I'm thinking, I'm brainstorming right now. Brainstorming, brainstorming. Okay, so brainstorm with me. Brainstorm with me. I have sandwich meat. That's what? That's not what I'm trying to say. I have sandwich bread and condiments. Now I have. I could get more bread in, on the shelves for sure. If I did bread, bread, condiment, 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 that's four. Yeah, that better be four dedicated to bread and sandwiches. Because other than that, this aisle here is not really bread sandwich focused. You're not putting sugar on bread. You're not putting sugar with peanut butter. You know what I'm saying? So honey still looks good with Tito. If I put sandwich aisle nearby, not necessarily, because how many I got? I got three free shells right here, three free shells. But wait, wait a minute before I say something. Is there any more dinner item? Cake, chips, there is gonna be chips. There is gonna be chips. Other than chips though, there is no more dinner items. There will be another set of chips though, which is gonna kind of mess us up for the future proofing. I was just thinking, what if we do bread? I could always cut the bread in half though. What if we did bread? Cause it's only three, that would be two and three. So three shells. If I move the potatoes, my bad y'all. I ain't saying nothing out loud. I'm saying everything in my head and it probably don't even make sense to y'all for real. But if it does, I'm rocking with y'all cause y'all clairvoyant, you know what I'm saying? Y'all clairvoyant. What if I put potatoes in the back? Both sides potatoes. Whoops. Both sides potatoes. Potatoes in the back. Not a huge deal. Not a huge deal. Potatoes in the back, right? So now we have, if I did condiments, what if I did condiments right here next to salt, pepper? So salt, pepper, chips, condiments across what? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, y'all. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I feel like I'm messing this whole thing up just trying to see what's going on. How do I box this up? Yeah, box this up, throw it over there. I'm telling you, this this might actually be a good idea. This might actually be a good idea. After we spend all this time trying to line these damn shelves up, I'm tearing them up as we speak, but it might be worth it. It might be worth it. This might be a great idea, which will help future-proof the store Come on, bro. Just get rid of this damn box, okay? It might help future future proof the store by doing this. So we got our one right here, W layout. Then throw that out the way. We go condiments. Well, condiments is only three. No, that'll be four. That would be four. If I did peanut butter and, and mashed potatoes, that's not what I'm trying to say. Peanut butter and um, let me just take this off of here. I'm pretty sure this idea is gonna work, but I'm not 100%, and I'm, I'm I gotta check it out. If we do ketchup and hot sauce, and then peanut butter and mayonnaise, yes, mayonnaise is gonna be on the floor. But like, I gotta get over that whole bottom shelf, top shelf stuff. I mean, preferably nothing would be on the bottom shelf because it's kind of a bad placement. But I just imagine like dust collecting on it, and it always messes with my brain. Okay, so let's just say for instance. Let's just say for instance, this is gonna be on this side. So we would do hot sauce here, double hot sauce, double ketchup. You see what I'm saying? Double hot sauce, double ketchup. And then we would go with mayonnaise. Mayonnaise at the bottom seems crazy, but like, next to hot sauce man you know what I'm saying like that's not that crazy I'm trying to convince myself if you can't tell peanut butter and then peanut butter again I got so many shorts to edit I just thought of that I gotta get on that you see what I'm saying so that's like condiments next to your salt pepper and chips makes sense then 
we go bread, hold left, this bread, hold right. How is that? Honestly, that's not bad, y'all. That's not bad at all. I ain't mad at this. And then what that does is, cause dinner aisle's not gonna have nothing else coming. The other aisle is, cause we gonna have cakes and sugars. See, this is making sense. Now that's two shelves we missing though, right? Two, we only gonna use one. So we gonna have an extra shelf. What else could go in dinner aisle? You see anything else that could go in dinner aisle as far as a full shelf worth? Hmm, a full shelf worth for dinner aisle. I'm not, I'm not thinking I do right now. Let's just put this bread here though for a second. Wait, did I box up something? Hold up y'all, I need to I need to rethink what I'm doing for a second. Cause I think I boxed up something with stuff in it. Did I or nah? Okay, that one don't have nothing in it. Let me move this out the way. I didn't expect this to be such a crazy situation. Okay, so the bread is gonna go right here. W placement, if I might say. I blocked myself in on accident. Okay, take this, move it over. These corners don't have to be perfect. They just gotta be pretty much close. Like that, that's pretty damn close. So we're gonna have bread next to rice? No, this is gonna actually be next to potatoes. We moving this down, remember? Placement is subject to change. Sounds like a end of a TV commercial. Product subject to change. I don't know. One of these shelves has something on it though. I know that. I'm trying to figure out which one it was. Oh, it was this shelf, this shelf. So now this one is gonna go down further. This is gonna be your rice. Your batty rice and your Uncle Tom rice. Now we got sandwiches, seasonings, makes sense. Everything makes sense. I got one free one next to sandwich bread though. What in the hell could go next to sandwich bread that makes sense? What could go next to sandwich bread that makes sense, y'all? I mean, you could argue you could put all of this on this side, but I kind of like this though, because look, you walk in, you got sandwich bread, you got chips, you got a little salt, pepper, Come down a little bit, you got your peanut butter, whatever, right here needs to be something. Come down a little further, you get into your pastas, your rices, your mashed potatoes, your actual potatoes. I kind of like the placement. I just need another casual item to go right here. I'm not sure what casual item is gonna go right there though. But we need to find something to go right there. And then this aisle will be real nice. Uh, moving over to the next one. What's this one gonna be? This is gonna be our next sugar aisle, right? Yeah, this is gonna be sugar aisle. So now that I move that stuff, this is gonna be free at the corner. So that's gonna be free. So we gonna have that. That's a freebie. Let me get that label out of there. That's a freebie. Then we flipping. So now this is gonna be here. This is free placement. So I hope it's gonna place right. That's gonna be new coffee. Then we gonna move that over. That's gonna be coffee, cereal, blah, blah, blah. That's good, we got empty spacing though because we are getting a lot more coming in to that aisle. I gotta make sure my placement is right though. So now this is gonna be there, so now this is gonna be here, right? Because if that's there, this one is gonna be our new chemical aisle. New chemical aisle is gonna be next to the book aisle. Okay, so chemicals are gonna be around back. Makes sense, makes sense. Now we gotta keep that in mind when we start doing this. Cause we gonna have bleach. All right, I'm gonna have to move that. I'm gonna have to move that. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. All right, we're gonna have to do some moving, y'all. I just wanna make sure, do I like the coffee aisle? I'm pretty sure I do. I love the coffee and tea part, at least. This part right here is flawless. Always been flawless. It's always been flawless, man. It's always been flawless. Speaking of flawless, did y'all see Tyler at the Met Gala? I ain't gonna lie, the Met Gala reminds me of uh, Hunger Games so much. As soon as I saw a preview of it, I was like, bro, what, what are we even watching right now? <laughs> These people look crazy as hell. They had like wigs on and shit. I don't really watch none of that. I did see Tyler on Instagram though, but uh, how y'all feel about that whole situation with the, um, damn, how do I do this again? I'll oh, see. How y'all feel about that whole block out situation? I ain't gonna lie, I've been telling y'all not to follow celebrities for the longest time, so <laughs> I'm way before my time with that one, man. I think I was talking about that like 10 years ago. 
Maybe not that long ago, but I've been talking about that for a minute. And it ain't because celebrities, you know, they bad people, all of them. It's just, it's good to focus on your own life, man. You know what I'm saying? It's good to put the energy you put into other people into yourself. Damn, that ain't going to fit. What the fuck is going on? Ain't nothing wrong with liking people, but them mega celebrities, you know, you can't really trust the mega celebrities. Sometimes you can't even trust influencers either, but... I told y'all, I ain't never said I was no damn influencer. I'm just a dude online playing the game. I ain't selling y'all shit. Damn it. <laughs> I've turned down so many offers to sell stuff. It's just, I don't, I don't know, bruh. Like the other day I was watching, damn, what, what is going on here? The other day I was watching a Kai stream and he was, uh, he don't usually do this, but I don't know why he did. Um, he was doing an advertisement for this goofy ass game called 1v1, LOL or some shit. And it was, it was like everybody hated it nobody knew it was a real product placement you know what I'm saying? everybody knew it was an ad so it's kind of weird that he did it but like they must have paid him a lot of money and what i'm thinking is it was probably a foreign company it's probably like a chinese game or something and they probably gave him a lot of money and then they're gonna use his little fake reactions to sell it in china or some other country because ain't nobody in the U.S. playing LOL 1v1 over Fortnite. That's crazy. And it's clear he wasn't enjoying it, but he did it anyway, which is fine. It's just kind of strange that I'm worried that if I don't line this up properly, I'm going to be in a worse situation in a minute. I don't know why this stuff isn't lining up. It's like, what is the problem? I know I'm really, really pinching pennies right now. I 100% get that, but like, when I get to this last one, I know it's not gonna line up, and I'm gonna be crying, and it's like, what you crying for? You knew it wasn't gonna line up. Like, look at that. It's not lining up now, so I know it's not gonna line up. I gotta fix it. I gotta fix it. It started with this one. This one's not properly lined up. This is why it's better to do this from the, the, the wall that's the end than it is the front, because the wall that's the front, okay, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. All right, cool, 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 cool. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Box that up, throw it over there. But yeah, I, speaking on the Met Gala thing again, I had heard something a long time ago, and it's probably just a rumor, but they was like that um, if the celebrities went there, it was like they was part of the clique or whatever. But I don't know. I don't think that whole block out thing is going to do anything because people are dumb as shit. And it's a few of us that's smart. I'm sure all of y'all are. Y'all know what time it is. But it's a lot of stupid people, bruh. And they will, they will do anything to get noticed by these celebrities. So you blocking a couple thousand people blocking or even a million blocking. It's just not going to do nothing because you got dumb people everywhere. You talking about, I mean, like other countries. Like think about India. Like what I always think is like even with like OnlyFans girls and shit. Like I swear, I don't know. There's no way for me to know. But there's no way American people are paying that kind of money every month to see some titties. I think it's other countries, bro. I think it's like India and like Indonesia or some stuff. It's got to be men over there paying, thinking they talking to like women. It, it has to be. There is no way. It's either that or children, which I don't even know if you can get an account on OnlyFans to watch stuff if you're a kid. I don't know. I'm sure there's slight ways around it, but it, it's probably hard to do because um, you got to probably have an ID. I don't remember exactly what you need to sign up to OnlyFans, but maybe you don't. You still need a credit card, though. But I, I think a lot of the stuff going on on the Internet is actually not real. I think a lot of it is like fake engagement not of course the only fans thing but like a lot of stuff we see is not actual real people if it is humanity is done because the shit be so stupid it makes my head hurt all right let's move this over here but yeah the block out thing i was just talking about that so i honestly am the perfect person because i don't give a shit one way or another i'll be watching uh youtubers and streamers more than anybody and even them is like you know I got my own life too, so. All right, we got three shelves open. Three shelves open, and the, what's that gonna do for us? Let's see. We got cake, two cakes. So if we went cake, 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 that's one half of a shelf. We got chocolate spread. That's that's like Nutella. That, I didn't realize that. That is kind of like a sandwich topping, but not really though. That's like a sweet thing. That's kind of confusing, not gonna lie. But that could go with the chocolate powder we gonna get. So you got chocolate powder, chocolate spread, that's in the sugar aisle, whatever. Cause you're not really putting Nutella on bread, I don't think. You got two cakes, 
We got two more cakes. You're gonna have four cakes total. So that's gonna be a full shelf if we do two, 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 two. Yeah, four. Matter of fact, that's well, depending on how many we get. Cause that's like two, 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 two. Okay, yeah, four. Yeah, four. Four products. Yeah. That'll work. That'll work. I think I'm doing that right. Yeah, because you got the quarter piece, quarter piece, quarter piece, quarter piece. Yeah, four. Four will fit on the shelf. Chocolate powder, chocolate bar, sugar. Damn, yo, we're going we gonna to have so much in that aisle. Sugar. Damn, yo. I don't think this is going to fit. I think eventually this is not going to fit. We only have three shelves. We already got this will be sold up with cake. We already got two cakes there that we probably would put cake, cake. So we'd have all of this would be cake and then you talking about we got chocolate powder chocolate spread and a chocolate bar like where is that going chocolate spread chocolate powder chocolate bar <laughs> i don't know i honestly don't know i think that when that time comes we're gonna have to make some adjustments we're gonna have to i'm just i'm just curious what are we gonna move what's one individual thing we can move to the dinner aisle because that would free up space we could move the oil but that's tied with flour though we need a whole shelf full of something we could move out of here to another aisle what would that whole thing be to move it to dinner aisle i don't know i don't know we can't we can't waste too much time thinking about it because it's gonna it's gonna be a hard decision to figure out what we gonna do with it i actually need to start this from the other side too so now that we moving this over this is gonna be the new chemical aisle so let's take toilet paper let's get him on in the corner all right, we got our toilet paper one. Now we got to go toilet paper two, toilet paper two. Then we go our cleaner, AKA outdoor bug spray. Damn, that kind of lined up kind of nice. I ain't gonna lie. I'm trying to get it in the spot, but this one actually lined up pretty good. Damn, all right, chemical aisle good. Chemical aisle straight. Okay, so now I did mess this up, so I got to start this, this aisle over. Let's put that there and then of course the other side of this will be i gotta try to make this even where is that touching at right there that's bar corner the corners are touching yeah right there that should be it i think that's it y'all let me put this back i'm pretty sure our layout is finally complete we are now elite employees okay so now we just gotta we just gotta line this up all the way now that's probably not gonna line up properly because there's no way to know where I'm at. But at least if I'm close, we'll be good. Grab my shelves. This store has come a long way. Remember when we just had two shelves? We literally had two shelves, bruh. And we had bread and what was it, oil? Damn, this actually did fit. I didn't think that was gonna fit. That's perfect. And then on this side, we got the books. Oh yeah, that's it. W layout, man. Great store. Great great layout and this layout is going to be pretty much future proof there is going to be some situations here and there that i'm going to have to flip some stuff around and i got to figure out how i'm going to do that with the chocolate because that's going to be insane because that sugar that sugar aisle all right so now we got two more shelves that's these two i can't believe this took this long i didn't think it was going to take that long this took a nice little piece of change from us i have a strong feeling this isn't going to fit and if it don't fit it's okay. I'm not even going to be mad. If it do fit, I'm going to be ecstatic. I was hoping I would be ecstatic. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be ecstatic. I'm going to be disappointed. I can't even be mad though because I knew that wasn't going to work. I should have known better than to start from the corner. I keep saying don't start from the corner and what do I keep doing? Starting from the damn corner. Okay, so there we go right there. Now everything will line up properly. Oh yeah, that's perfect right there. I actually might not even have to move this one over because that one was so perfect. It might just be good. Let's see, you gonna be good on your own or do I need to move it over? Oh no, nah, look at that, it's gonna be good. So this is how it's gonna be y'all. So this is gonna be books. We got plenty more space now. We ain't gotta run into the wall every time we come down here, which is great. And the lights are lining up better with the aisles. This is gonna be our chemicals. This is gonna be our coffee, breakfast, sugar, dinner aisle, sandwich aisle, refrigerator, freezer, refrigerator. And then we still got the liquor behind the cabinets, which I haven't decided if I'm gonna like that or not. Let me just throw these in the inventory. This is still full. All right, 
I swear, just for the sake of getting this stuff out of my face, I just want to throw it down here. Damn. I hate when that happens because then I don't notice it. All right, just toss it. Just toss it. I'm about five seconds away from just throwing everything away. Okay, we do have chemicals, though. We do have chemicals. Uh, That's not really a big deal. These couple right here. I guess I could have did it smarter where I did all of this at one time, but it's cool. It's not going to make that much of a difference because... The chemical aisle has a lot of room to grow, which is good because we're going to get a lot of products. I do got to keep in mind where are we putting cat food, dog food, and the liquor. I'm not sure if I'm leaving this placement like this or not, but for right now, it's cool. All right, let's just box this up. Matter of fact, let's just throw it over here. Throw it right there and let's get rid of these labels because I might actually need that. Let's get rid of all this pepper. I'm going to just toss these downstairs. I probably should just throw them away, but because what's going to end up happening is I'm going to forget. I'm going to refill pepper again and then I'm not going to need no more pepper. I mean, the likelihood of me selling this much pepper within like a week is unlikely, let alone in a few days. So they will probably go in the trash, which is like wasting a thousand dollars. But, you know, we rich now, man. We rich now. We ain't got to worry about that. Okay. This is looking good, man. This is looking real good. I don't know what we going to do with these shelves. Like I said, this is the awkward place behind this cabinet, this counter. Very awkward placement because you got the check. I'm, you know what? Maybe I should start thinking about changing some of this. I probably should even out these lights too since I'm here because it's not like the aisles are crooked. Try to even some of these out. You know what? That's a good idea. Use the aisle for judgment because the aisle is, you know, it's straight. We didn't spend so much time on the aisle that you know that the aisle is straight. The lights ain't going to be perfect, but they do kind of line up with the aisles pretty good right now. This one is off by a lot. I don't want them to be too perfect, but we definitely need a little bit of straight line action. Yeah, that's pretty good, y'all. I'm liking the, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I think this is in the wrong. Damn, I added two right here, didn't I? I guess I could. That's not a bad thing. This is kind of out of place, though, because this one should probably be here, and then we should have one back here. I don't know. I got to check out the layout. How that look? I think that's cool. I think two is enough though. I don't think we need one here. An extra light. I don't know. I guess we could put an extra light in here, but I don't be paying attention to the lights that much. I, I can tell too, cause it's, it's kind of crooked the way I got some of these set up. You know what though? I'm saying not to keep these, but at the same time, they kind of look cool like that. I'd rather, I'd rather have more lights than less lights. Everything is lining up pretty nicely though right now. Look at that. Look at that light placement. It ain't, ain't got to be perfect, but it's got to line up decently. Is this an extra? Oh yeah, I got an extra right here. That's cool. We can throw these in the storage room because our storage room was kind of dim. I might end up adding more lights to the store anyway though, depending on how it looks. I'd rather it be overlit than underlit. Did it seem brighter before? Uh, it's still bright. I don't know. Lights are really cheap. We could definitely add more to that. How much money we got? Twenty-seven thousand dollars. Twenty-seven thousand, and everything is looking good. Twenty-seven thousand, and everything is looking good. Some of the placement is off though, and I would like to decide what I'm doing with this dinner aisle and this sugar aisle because when I get that spread, let me just really focus, lock in on that cleaner. Dishwasher tablet, ain't gotta worry about none of this. That's all straight. Books, ain't gotta worry about none of that. Cleaner, none of that. Cat food, cat food, dog food. Definitely gotta worry about that. Damn, they got two cat foods, but only one dog food. But that's three. That's three products. Three products. That's gonna be confusing. I almost wanna buy this one just to see what it looks like so we can understand the placement. The cakes. I think I am going to get this one because this is the only item that I don't even know where I'm putting it whatsoever. I'm buying that one now. Let's buy that one now. And then let's get some of that so we can see what's going on. Okay, let's see. We got cleaner, one, two, cat food, one, two, cat food, one, two, dog food, one, two. All right, let's throw that on the curb. And then we need to see what's going on. The cleaner is not a big deal because we know that cleaner is most likely going to go right here. These are like your little Swiffer wet jet pads. Not a big deal. That's going to be chemical aisle. 
they're gonna be probably in a different spot but for right now it's it's chemical aisle it don't matter but dog food let's see let's see dog food dog food is pretty big that comes in eights dog foods come in eight let's see about this cat food look like cat food is gonna come in uh, i'm thinking it's gonna stack 12 on the shelf but let's see damn only six on the shelf damn six on the shelf is kind of lack lack it's kind of um i don't even know the word i'm trying to say it's kind of bad is what i'm trying to say it's kind of bad six on the shelf damn that is like nothing six on the shelf is terrible why is it terrible first of all it's terrible that it's three products and not four if it was four products i'd be good but it's three products which makes it awkward makes it very awkward this might be a good time to use a five shelf but i don't think that dog food is gonna fit actually on the five shelf I was thinking one on the bottom and then boom, boom, bam, bam. Cat dog food. Damn, y'all. And we got to find a place to put these. So if we stocking these away, what box size is this? What box size is this? This look like a big box. Yeah, that's a big box. So we're going to have to go one there, one there. So we had 32 in storage. And then the cat food, that looks like this type of box. So we could go 24 in storage there and then this type of box and go next to it 24 in storage there because see storage is important now we got to focus on that we got to make sure our storage is good as well as the store and i like to do it by box size because you see that you know it matters how much you keep which is why i had some open spaces it's just placement though the placement is about to be hell let's buy a five tier shelf i got four thousand dollars let's buy a five tier shelf let's just see if it comes in handy uh five tier shelf 250 if it don't we just played ourselves. but if it does we might have solved the problem let's start with uh, let's not start with dog food because that's the one that's gonna hurt our feelings let's start with the cat food let's go second and third shelf and then on this one we'll go top and middle one two three one two three right and then we'll go dog food i know that's cropping through it has to be right yeah that's definitely cropping through question is do we care do we care that that's cropping through well that's going to depend on if you can see it on a fully stocked shelf you kind of can which is not the best look in the world. I don't know y'all, that just fits perfect on that five tier shelf though. Cause then it's like, you ain't gotta worry about trying to do it no other way. It's just like, bam, that's your dog, cat food, pet food. Now where in the hell we gonna put the dog food, cat food, pet food, I don't know. Cause putting it by the human food is crazy. Putting it by the chemicals is crazy. Putting it by the books is crazy. It just seemed like everywhere we would think to put it is kind of weird. Even the alcohol seems weird to have it by alcohol. I mean, at least we have it. Can't be mad at that. Wait a minute. I just want to see the storage. Okay. Look like storage is almost full. I was just going to refill. Oh shit. That is not almost full. What is it refilling? We need a big restock actually. I can never find pepper in here and I'm always looking for it because I don't want to buy none of it. Let's see, what is pepper called? It's just called pepper. I'm gonna add a bunch of it so it sticks out so I can see what it looks like. Oh, it's called Afron pepper, Afron. We gotta make sure we never buy Afron pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and refill everything. Never buy Afron pepper, y'all. Matter of fact, we could throw one of them in the, oh, never mind, no we can't. Never buy Afron pepper. All right, so how we looking? How we looking? The pet food right here is such a weird thing. It's such a weird place for it. Pet food next to the beer though? That just don't even look right. Pet food next to the beer? I would almost make sense for me just to do this. I mean, since the beer is right there in the refrigerator next to it, would it make sense for me just to do that and not have this beer behind the counter? Let's see, let's see how that looks. Time to switch up, time to see what, what, what options are. I mean, pet food behind the counter is insane. What about the beer though, the beer in the corner? <sighs> I mean, it ain't, it ain't 
great. It's something about this corner that is just so bad. And I don't know why it's so bad, but it's just so bad. Even if we put the other liquor there, it's just bad, man. It's just a bad corner. It just feels like it's just a badly thought out corner. Well, can we do anything to make that a better situation? I think there's things we can do. We could probably completely make that refrigerators, which would help with a lot of it. If we made that totally refrigerators on this aisle, we could, instead of putting refrigerators right here, we could put beer and liquor down here or somewhere over here. Cause you got three. I think three is plenty. Cause what's that? 12, 24. And then yeah, that's plenty down here. Was that 18, 18 plenty. We don't really need no more of that. We got 24 wine, 24. I think all of this is 24. 24 each is plenty. I don't think we need more than that. So three full shelves. We need three full shelves to do all liquor. Three shelves and three refrigerators, small ones. So we could do each beer and each one. That's all liquor, that's all liquor. But see, now I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, we could do liquor if all of these will fit here eventually they will because that other one will be gone there's no way that all of this ain't gonna fit because how much is this let's see how many of these is this is two four six eight ten eleven that's eleven refrigerators right there that's eleven now from here which is uh kind of center here you got one two three four five probably six so when this opens up that's gonna give us six refrigerators going that way and you have room here which i don't even know what this equals to but i know it's at least two four probably six this way so you're talking about 12 refrigerators on this side you got two four six eight ten twelve there's your 12 14 16 but but now but three of those is the beer three of those is the beer now and beer is not gonna be by itself over here we could do beer we could do alcohol and drinks all on this line alcohol and drinks we need to we need to do some measuring y'all we need to do some measuring what are we gonna use the measure let's just use this one because this actually might be a good plan it wasn't my plan to do this right now but so you talking about a double refrigerator is almost half a shelf it's more than half a shelf though so you could at least fit 13 you could fit three refrigerators in one shelf space at least at least you can count on three. So that's three, six, nine. That's what you can count on. You looking more probably at 10 though, if not more. So I'm thinking 10, well no, three, six, nine, that's not full. So that's at least three, six, seven, eight. I would say eight, that's eight, nine, 10, 11. That's 11 right there that would be freed up, 11 spaces, which would be one, two, three, four, five. On top of that, that five would be gone. And then we'd have, I just messed up the math in my head because I forgot what exactly I was trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out, will the liquor and drinks fit on this line? I'm thinking no, because you already got three full of liquid right there. You only got one, two, three, four, five spots. Only got five spots. So with five spots, that's three of them right there. That ain't going to work. Now, if you made this all liquor, it probably would work. I just got to see it. I gotta see it. I think the only way I'm gonna actually know is if I see it. So if I did this, let's just see, man. Let's just see. Hmm. Okay. I'm not. I'm not hating this right now. I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it. I did have a really good setup though, so it's gonna have to do. It's gonna do better than not hating it for me to actually switch this completely up. It's gonna have to do better than not hating it. Okay. Okay. Hey. I'm not. I'm not too upset right now. I'm not too upset right now. Again, it's gonna have to be better than not being upset to make me actually stick with this. But I am not mad at this situation at all. Wow, would that fit? Hell nah. We were so close. So close, but yet so far. So close, but yet so far. All right, now we did all that. I wish there was an undo button on this game. That would be heavenly at this point. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so that's three. That's your three right there. And then we got the beer, which is gonna be three. Three individuals. And then you're gonna have room for at least two more refrigerators. So with that three, you'll probably have room for two more refrigerators. In those two refrigerators, you could do soda. 
I don't know, two more refrigerators. I got three right here. I really wish I could do all my drinks right there. Maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. Maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. We got more drinks than we have food. Is that a real statement or is that a false statement? We have one, two, three. We have three refrigerators full of liquid plus another three slims, which is equivalent to four or five. So five slots or basically just five refrigerators full of liquid four and a half we have four and a half full of liquid plus three shelves now on this wall food wise we only got four then your five six and the reason i'm saying all of this is because maybe i should be putting the liquids on this wall and the food on this wall because there's very clear indication that this wall ain't gonna get no bigger where this wall will. So if I left food where it was, which is kind of an awkward placement of this food, I will give you that. It's a little bit of an awkward placement. What did I have next to that though? I forgot my, oh, my sushi. Actually, I think the sushi was before the food. Yeah, the sushi was before the food because that was next to the meat. This is definitely odd placement for these refrigerators. But the big reason why it feels so weird is because this wall is right here. And eventually it won't be. So let's just take a moment and think about what we doing. As you go down, you go into the meats. But you gotta remember this wall is not gonna be here forever. So the meats will be across from this meat, which will look and make a whole lot more sense. We'll also have a lot of middle room here to do whatever the hell we wanna do with. Uh, and then we'll do drinks on this wall, I guess. But I mean, how crazy is that gonna be with alcohol? Will it be alcohol in the back corner? Because once we get the storage built up, it'll technically just be alcohol in the back corner, which is not, I don't know, I don't think that's that crazy, to be honest. Let's just take the blue. Let's just see how it looks right now. Might have waste, wasted everybody's time, to be honest. Let's just see how that looks. It looks kind of mid. Alcohol in the back corner. It's kind of a good place for it, though, because you can keep an eye on it. Eh, I think I wasted everybody's time, man, because I'm not a huge fan of that. I actually like the liquor better behind the cabinets. Why well, keep calling them cabinets? Counters. I mean, it, it wasn't great behind the counter, but it was better than this. It was way better than what I'm doing right now. I just think the refrigerators look better. Having that open on the edge like that just looks kind of ridiculous. I just think in the long term, this will be better. Oh, I forgot about this one. I left out of meat, y'all. How the hell I do that? That was supposed to go here, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that just looks better. I mean, it just looked better. It just does. Gotta admit, when something just looked better, man, that just looks better. You know what I'm saying? Now, how we do these, this alcohol and this beer, I don't know how we gonna do it. Same with this pet food. I don't know how we gonna do it. Damn, I ain't even peeped the pricing. Dog foods is $30. That makes $10 a bag. Woo, $10 a bag on dog food? I'm almost thinking, should we double dog food up? I mean, should we go like four on four? I mean, how many dog foods we got on the shelf doesn't correlate with how many we selling, but it really don't. What would you put above dog food? <laughs> literally nothing. Yeah, literally nothing, bro. Bad idea. I'm gonna just go with the five shelf. I think it makes more sense. It crops through, but like, hey, it is what it is. I got this shelf right here that I have no, no, nothing to put on it. But that's okay, we're gonna just throw it in storage because you never know when you're gonna need a box. Just set that joint back there some kind of place in the reject section. Damn, you can't just set, come on, y'all. You know what? That's fine, just leave it there. Okay, so what we doing here though? I mean, should we do pet food in the corner maybe? Pet, fo pet food books? Nah, because then that's gonna be out of pocket. Let me see what the books look like. Damn, I ain't got no money though. I'm gonna have to just rock with this for a minute, y'all, because we ran out of money. I forgot, I wanted to see what the books look like. We are gonna have a lot of books, a whole lot of books. Pet food is such a weird item. For some reason, it feels weird next to human food, but yet it feels weird next to anything. It feels weird next to chemicals as well. It's just weird, it's like, it's just not quite, I don't know, it's just not quite. What if we just put it on the corner for right now? Pretend that it's like hugging a corner that doesn't exist at all. I mean, it is what it is. I think this was still a very successful day, very successful episode. 
long ass episode y'all got a long episode out of me i'm gonna i'm gonna open up shop i'm gonna open up shop we're gonna just let it run in normal time too i just want to see how everything flows i think i'm gonna be making some adjustments too because i think down here since this is gonna be double chemicals i'm gonna put toilet tissue toilet tissue here so i'm gonna have them flank each other well i'm gonna get another one too though and paper towel so maybe i won't do that I don't know. I love this store though, man. It was coming along really good. It's just a few things that I need to tweak and getting these other product licenses is going to help tweak it because it's going to be like, oh, I got to get my restockers back too. Damn. I actually don't even have enough money to hire them back. That's why it was stupid to fire them, but I made that chunk. I, I took that choice. How much they cost to hire back? 110 and 150. We're going to just keep two for right now two could keep up for the day keith and kevin you know what I'm saying keith and kevin got it we'll leave what was the other one i said dave and uh i forgot the other guy dave and dave and lebron <laughs> i don't know dave and lebron yeah let's see how the day moving though hey how y'all like that damn song i did in that last was it two episodes ago that shit was hitting bro like i actually went back and listened to that song multiple times the one where i was talking about um cassandra but like the part where i was like the part where I was like, something, something, candy stick. They, they can't have a candy stick or some shit I said. I was like, yo, I love that part. Uh, and I love the part at the beginning where I was talking about my main thing. I was like, yo, this could actually be a song, yo. So I might I might just have to hit up that dude and be like, yo, let's get this, let's get this beat, man. I need this beat, yo. I'm about to link you with Jay and, and Jay do all the business stuff. And we get that beat linked up and then we make us a song. Because I swear that's a good joint. I'll go back and listen to it, man. It's on uh, part 12, I think. It was dope, though. I was loving it. I think we need more lights in here, man. What y'all think? Let's order like 100 lights. You need to get your restockers back. I do need to get my restockers back. You are correct about that. Get both of their asses back to work. Uh, we got $4,700. Uh, let's buy some lights, man. Let's buy some lights. Let's buy light. Let's not just buy lights. Let's see how many we would need. Let's buy like one, two, three, four, five. Let's buy like 10. 10 lights. 10 lights. $400 down. It's already. Damn. This sucks. I thought we could buy them right now. That would have been a good time to get them too. Where should we put this other shelf, man? We got a whole nother shelf sitting in here with nothing on it. I don't know what to do with these shelves. I knew I knew when I did this store this way, I knew it was going to be so awkward in this corner. And I've gotten to the point where it's still super awkward in this corner. Look at Cassandra. I don't know if I'm going to um, put the refrigerators back over here either. Because like I kind of want to do that. Because it looked a little bit better when the, all the liquor was back here. But if I move them, like, what am I doing? Putting pet food next to butter? Like, that's crazy. I'm going to have to think about where I'm putting that pet food. Do some serious thinking. Let me let me put this in three speed. I'm going to have to do some serious thinking, though. It's just like, it seems like wherever I put it, it don't make sense. It don't make sense. Maybe it'll make sense around the books. But I got to get the books because I don't even know what the books is going to look like. The books might look ridiculous. Come on, y'all. Get up Get up out the store, man. How much do we need for the books? Let's see. The books are going to be uh, 2200 No, 22000 Not 2200 22000 So that's going to be a second. Not that long, though. I probably could get my hands on some books within the next, like, 20 minutes. Mostly if I just run another day. Let's just, like, back-to-back -back run another day. It's kind of reckless because you'll run out of stuff. But, like, live life on the edge, man live life on the edge you know what i'm saying let's not buy that many lights either let's just buy five let's just buy five lights because i just want to see if they actually make a difference so if i put another light like right there is that really gonna make a difference in the brightness or is it just a visual pocket of light i do remember when we first got this game going they said for each light you have the bills will be more money i do remember that as i'm placing all these unnecessary ass lights on the wall we might end up playing ourselves. i just want to see if the store gets brighter it does look a little bit more beamy though don't it it do look a little more beamy like it's beaming more i like the beaminess though i feel like this is boring damn does the game run faster when the lights are off Yo, the game does run faster when the lights is off. Look at that. That runs totally different. So all them damn lighting effects put a tax on the computer. Okay, we getting the hang of it. Oh, you got a little doggy at the crib, huh? 
Yeah, get that dog food, man. We get ten dollars a pop off that dog food. I'm gonna go ahead and restock the uh the room. Damn, that's only gonna cost me that much. I gotta keep an eye on it though, because if old boy put something where he ain't see, look, he put that damn cleaner back there. Look at both of them. See, that's why I said if I'm gonna do it, I gotta keep an eye on it. And then we can just throw this on the floor because what ends up happening, you could actually manually place this on the shelves. See, that's how I ended up messing up and restocking all that pepper because they did that because I restocked it when it was uh, in the middle of the day and then bam, problems. This runs so much faster with the lights off, y'all. I've been kind of playing myself leaving the lights on. I just wish the game was a little bit brighter. Like, I mean, I guess it makes sense. You need lights to be bright. But like during the day, yeah, even during the day stores had a lights on. I don't like when the lights is off though. It looks dingy. You know what this reminds me of? Do y'all remember in school on them real hot days, they would turn the lights off and have all the fans going? I, yeah, I don't know if that's just an old school thing, but I remember at the end of the year, of course, good good vibes, end of the year vibes. It would be hot and they would turn the lights off to keep it cooler and then they had the fans running. That's what that reminds me of, which is actually a good vibe. But see, now it's about to get nighttime and it's about to get real dark in here. But look how fast the game moving though. Like I can't be mad at that. <laughs> it's crazy. The only thing that stays lit up in here is the actual labels. It's getting dark, y'all. Y'all getting scared? Look like the end of the world, don't it? Look like look like some eclipse action. This is how the eclipse look. It got super dark. Except it ain't the eclipse, y'all. It's the end of the world. All of y'all gonna die. I'm sorry to tell you. you. Better get everything you need, cause it's the end of the world. Fallout times, you know what I'm saying? All right, we gotta flip the lights on. Does it feel brighter in here? I don't necessarily know if I'd say it feels brighter. Where did I put that extra light at? I put it right here, didn't I? Yeah, right here. I mean, does it add brightness? I guess it does. So the more lights you have, you will get a little bit more brightness in here, but it's very little. Like, look at the shelf. It's very little lighting. You'd probably be better off taking a light outside. Look at that, damn. Look at the quality of lighting, though. Hey, that's good quality right there, y'all. Look at the shadow action. That's some damn good shadow action going. That's why the game be running slow, I think. Because it actually has really good lighting in this game. Pretty good textures, too. But it takes a hit on performance. I'm going to leave it in here, but I really don't think them lights made that big of a difference. I really don't. We need 22,000, y'all. 22,000. We're going to end this episode. It's been super long but we need 22,000 at least we at least need 22,000 give me 2,000 dummy give me two dummy give me two is somebody else still in here i think yep come on ma'am you the last one get your shit and go home oh i forgot to tell y'all i put a mod in for them they move faster all right we got twelve thousand dollars that is not enough damn one more day one more day I swear, one more day we should have it. One more day we should have it. Open up the store. One more day should be it. Let's go ahead and refill that storage. Keep an eye on, keep an eye on the storage room real quick. Make sure they ain't putting nothing where they ain't supposed to. Where y'all even at? It don't look like look like everything cool. Nobody put nothing where they wasn't supposed to. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I probably should just get rid of this pepper. I really should. I don't want to, but I probably should. Maybe I should just put it on the shelf. Would that be crazy to put the pepper on the shelf? Y'all gotta hurry up and restock. That bread is looking low. Let's just put it on the shelf. Why not? I mean, eventually we'll sell out of it, right? If we put enough of it out here, eventually we'll sell out of it. We're gonna have pepper every... I gotta remember though. Cause see, what I'll end up doing is forgetting that this is an exclusive pepper spot. Well, I guess I could manually do it since the game is running super fast right now. Can we run a discount? Yeah, let's run a discount. I gotta take that mod out for the prices. I forget about that. Let's do $6.49. That's a damn good price. $6.49? Look at Frank Dank Shank and Hank moving, man. They moving. Look at that. Bam, bam, bam. You almost as quick as me, man. We are in two times speed, though. But nah, it's a, it was a mod that upgraded their speed, but it I thought it was gonna be cheaty. And it's really not cheaty. Like, that's how fast they move now. Which is like how fast they should move it's kind of like we're making the update ourselves. that's what it's like 
because ideally they would have a system where when you get to a certain level you can um you could upgrade the speed of the cashiers and stuff like that and i'm sure they're gonna probably bring a lot of that to the game but until they do we're gonna have to just keep it modded and try to have a nice merge between default and modded because I couldn't find a cleaner what you mean you can't find a cleaner the cleaner is literally right there i'm looking directly at it everything is stocked up oh maybe she meant this oh, i never even put this on the shelf let me order two of them real quick matter of fact let's order four of them i never even put these on the shelf y'all i put the cat food and dog food in there but i never put that in there all right these are these look like the long boxes yeah the long boxes actually they can hold a lot so we only need one slot for them we could just stick them right in inventory damn it's dark in here y'all ready for some light action all kinds of light action we made a lot of money though i feel like it runs better off so we just leaving the lights off it's just too smooth with them off i never realized the lights made that big of a difference but they make a huge difference in how fast this game runs and i'm trying to get them matter of fact let's hit them on three how fast can we go on time when the lights is off i almost feel like they might actually work faster don't look like nobody getting stuck look at that we are moving right now look at that my boy is moving that's how fast I was scanning items. I was not check cashing them out that fast though. All right, let's end the day. Let's see what we got. 95, we got 17,000 right now. We could actually get these books. I'm gonna take this loan out. It's gonna be a shorty loan, I'm taking all the money. So just so we can get this book license. Cause we gotta see what the books look like. All right, cool. And then let's buy them. Oh, these is kid books. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, let's buy three of each. This is gonna be weird in a store, but let's see. You know, while I'm stocking this, you know a house flipper, how everything move faster as you progress? They should do the same thing in this one. Like the more you level up, the faster you should be able to restock shelves like that. Cause that's exactly what they did in house flipper. It just worked out perfectly. I do want to check them books out though so let's check these books out real quick let's see what they look like how they sit on the shelf big moment let's press play let's see how do they sit on the shelf oh diagonally really eight books is all you fit on the shelf damn eight books is kind of crazy because that means we need to do at least like three of each one damn each one is only eight that's kind of crazy uh so what are we gonna do two and two well we probably need to do three and three if they only doing 16 that ain't enough damn i was really hoping they would help they would hold at least 16. i mean what is it gonna look like though that's not bad it's not good either though let's go dog food because we could do like dog food cat food cat food cat what we gotta do again damn i forgot this might work though dog food is gonna do eight right this is only a four shelf so if we did four the cat ones four the dog food you'll have one one sitting there we did dog food cat food cat food and then something to break up books and cat food and then the other six books will get or go there which will be cool i think i think that'll work i think that'll work i really hope it'll work we're gonna have to see though all right, so we got that cat food, and then let's go with the yellow cat food. Let's see how that's looking. I mean, it's kind of weird doing this pet food next to the books, but like, it is what it is. I mean, usually people that read books have pets, you know what I'm saying? Boom, there's our reasoning. See, I think that'll work. I need one more item. What can divide pet food from books? Divide pet food from books pet food from books what in the hell would divide pet food from books see because this is six that's 24 damn y'all what could divide pet food from books because see this is gonna be six i don't know what we're gonna put in between there but that is like messing with my brain right now because that works it's just what are we putting next to books because look product license this is chemicals the cakes that's not gonna go there 
soda we're not gonna put soda up front like that beer none of this is going like what are we putting up front the next six books we get and i'm gonna put at the bottom and i'm gonna need something to divide this what is that catalyst item going to be i don't know i honestly don't know it really can't be nothing like a food item because that's not gonna make what about what about candy nah candy next to pet food is insane yeah candy next to pet food is absolutely insane but now Aren't we gonna get a chocolate bar? We're gonna get a chocolate bar, right? Chocolate bread, chocolate spread. Yeah, we're gonna get another chocolate bar. So hear me out. If we get another chocolate bar, where this little rainbow candy is, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's let's just see. Let's just see. If I do the chocolate bar on this aisle, we thinking for the future. So we do chocolate bar, the new chocolate bar, then we got the chocolate spread chocolate powder we got a new sugar chocolate spread chocolate powder the new sugar which you could do chocolate spread chocolate powder and then the new sugar do candy on the end so like nothing divides books it seems kind of crazy but like i think i'm gonna put this book i think this is gonna be the book that divides it for some reason this book looks like it smells like attic and cat food anyway whoops i didn't mean to do that it looks like it smells like attic and, and cook food cat food attic and cat food so that's gonna be damn that looks weird y'all that looks weird man that don't even look right books next to cat food that does not even look right you know that don't look right i want to say it look right but you know it don't and then i was thinking about doing candy on the edge it's like a walk-in kind of thing you know what i mean like you walk in you get some candy you know like your little bubble gum this is like bubble gum candy you know what i'm saying nothing crazy nothing crazy bubble gum books pet food i guess i guess once we get this once we get this stacked up it shouldn't be that bad it shouldn't be that bad it really shouldn't some of these books look kind of weird but like until we get the next books because i would like to do yeah you know what i don't think this is gonna look bad i think that's gonna look good why the hell is this eleven thousand dollars yeah i think we good y'all i think we good i think this is gonna look really nice we still got plenty of storage i do need to upgrade my storage but we're gonna have to run a few days but i think this was a w episode man post in the comments w layout w episode i think this aisle is gonna be good pet food books the little bit of bubble gum this is gonna be our chemical cleaning aisle breakfast when i get the chocolate spread i might switch up with the cakes but this is this should be enough room here to be future proof dinner aisle i'm not sure what's going next to the bread but i had to think of that a little bit refrigerator freezer aisle is perfect and then we got all this damn pepper that i gotta get rid of but i think we good though man i think i'm gonna pause this episode here man i love y'all let me know in the comments if you love the long episode you know what i'm saying keep me motivated and we are gonna be playing some more of this but we also gonna get into some new joints the gas station one and then that one that's like a full life simulator that's gonna be really dope i think i love y'all that was amazing <laughs> All of those long, hard hours of walking definitely pay off. I see that. I see that. Sunny Daniel Enterprises.